time with him, man. He the new MC Hammer. This what he do, man. It's Hammer time all the time with him, man. He the new Hammer. He about to go broke like Hammer did too. He hammered everybody from Meek Mill, allegedly to everybody that was ever signed to Bad Boy. All of his acquaintances, all of the studio producers, all of the head people in his office, they was all getting the business. Diddy was that really freak nasty, man. Now they saying that Meek Mill trying to cover all of this up, but he only making it a lot worse. They got these wild rumors out here about Diddy and Meek Mill having a freak off situation on a regular basis, man. He made that man eat them fries from in between his legs. And they said he had ketchup on his nipples because Diddy was that madly in love with this man, allegedly. Now, Justin Combs, they calling him Baby Wolf. He out here committing murders like his father allegedly. And Meek Mill thought it would be sexy to make Diddy eat French fries from off his thighs. And we gotta talk about this, man. And that's why my question for y'all is, is Meek and Diddy the zestiest couple? You ain't never heard no stories like this before. Cassie got pages on pages of allegations but he settled with her out of court before shit really started to get messy. But Lil Rod taking this man all the way to the bank. And if these rumors about Meek Mill is true and him and Diddy got a zesty relationship, that's the end of his career. We got video footage of Diddy doing all different types of nasty stuff. Y'all gotta stay tuned. But before we get into that, y'all gotta do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button as well. I got so much love for y'all, man. This going to be a tough video for me to do because um, y'all all know I'm a big fan of P. Diddy. And they've been saying things about him lately that I really, really don't like. But the main thing I don't like is what they saying about what he done done with Meek Mill. A old zesty story done came out and people taking it to the max. Now they eating food off of each other's bodies. I knew the story was zesty, but I ain't know it was this damn zesty, man. And that's one of the reasons why we got to talk about it. Cause we got to straighten some of this stuff out, man. It's trending really hard and people cuddled up under they blanket with they pillow nice and snuggly, rubbing they feet together, waiting to listen to a zesty bedtime story, man. And I ain't gonna be the one to give it to your partner. Oh we don't do that girly gossiping and spilling tea. We only spill Hennessy on this channel, man. But this is some sweet Henny. It's a new flavor. Strawberry Henny, man. I can't control the flavor. All I could do is guarantee that y'all gonna get some good stuff. Look at this, man. They saying that Meek Mill found a mother in Ross. And somewhere he had to find a father and Diddy was the man for the job. He already got Rick Ross for a mother. Oh my he baby boyed him and put him in the game. Gave him access to all of the cars, all of the keys, the mansions, the girls. He showed him the life. He already had a mother in Ross. Oh they said he wanted Jay-Z to be his daddy, but he was already occupied with Blue Ivy and the rest of his kids, man. But he still treated him like a stepson and it was all good. But Diddy wanted to be the full-time father. Oh my goodness. And that's when things got shaky, man. Meek Mill out here even looking like Diddy. Got the same low face, same goatee. They wearing the same clothes. He think he Diddy. He think he a OG in the game. Hey, you must ain't hurt. Diddy, that's my man. Like, I got the right to sign deals with any and everybody else, man. They got him sitting at the table like he Russell Simmons or somebody. How did that happen? How did he get in so good with the click? 
Somebody make it make sense, man. What's the business really about? And why they chose him out of everybody? What he out there doing? How did he please them OGs and he a young buck? They usually close the door and in the faces of plenty of young rappers trying to come up. How did Meek Mill win favor and favoritism by the hip hop greats? They got him all up in there NYC with the top dogs. Yo Gotti got his arm, got his hand all on his shoulder like he the messiah. Like I heard what you did boy, you a wild boy, partying with Diddy boy, you a freak nigga, yeah. Heard what you did at that party. They said you got nasty, young man. Let me let you know, you're going to see a lot of paper in this game. Because there's a lot of fruity, booty, booty niggas out here, dog. You keep on doing your thing, I'm going to see you at the top. Do your thing, do your dance, do your, do your dance, do your thing. Drop it low, come on, me. Do your dance, me. Jay-Z looking like, you coming to the freak off or what? You gonna be there? Diddy said you was coming, man. Don't say you ain't coming if you ain't coming, man. Whenever you see a man standing in front of another man, like a wrestler, oh, you know it's about to go down. It's looking like the ultimate warrior versus Andre the Giant, they bought the wrestle. It always start when he put his hand on his shoulder, like, let's go. But on the real man, I don't want to believe none of this stuff. Because if you believe that about Meek Mill, you got to believe that about Fab. Because Fab always be with Diddy. You got to believe that about Young Jeezy. It ain't just Meek Mill. Don't make this an isolated situation because that man allegedly made him eat French fries off his thighs. Lil Rod was there. He bent over on them sofas, man. He smelt that foul smell coming from, coming. He felt, he smelt that foul smell coming from Diddy mouth. He know what it's like to be involved in a sex concentrated freak off with sex workers, man. He been there, done that. He been traumatized, had to get counseling. Diddy did him dirty. Diddy had him in a hotel in a jacuzzi. Didn't even wash it down, no Listerine, no Clorox. Straight had him in a jacuzzi, nasty, hair floating all over the place, being zesty, man. Now Meek Mill caught up in the mix and all these billionaires scared because that's the only reason why them black dudes invited to the party so they could get naughty, baby. They want Diddy in there acting like Austin Powers with yellow teeth, man. He in there swinging from the chandeliers, making million dollar deals, Bobby Schmurter on the table, dancing, jumping up and down, looking stupid. As soon as they let them in the door, you would have thought Strong J was in the building, man. Usher. Stevie J, Meek Mill. They talk about everybody Diddy ever been around. He eat a mango off your ass and ask you if you want the juice. He a freak. You go to his house at night. Ain't no telling what you gonna see going on in there. He living like a vampire. Hibernating with Cassie. They ain't eat in three days. All they doing is having sex with sex workers, man. By the time them dudes make it home, they be some ghostesses. Like homie ain't even make it home. Like damn, Cassie, get in your phone, find some more sex workers. Them, them niggas we had last night, they ain't even make it home. We need some more, man. Some bad energy around here. I need love. Somebody love me. I'm brother love. I, I know I'm a dirty motherfucker, man. But damn, I need love, y'all. Love somebody. Damn, this shit is hard. God, please forgive me. I know I, I done wrong. I got the, the nigga Meek Mill. I ain't have to do him like that. And when I ate the French fries off his thighs, I just, I, I, I was, I was, I need to repent, Lord. Somebody, where's TD Jakes? Oh, my bad. I mean, the power bottom. 
He ain't even got no pastor he could look up to no more, man. Y'all need to pray for Diddy out there. When the pastor turned out to be a hoochie daddy and he was trying to find the Lord and wound up finding something even more sinister. That had to blow his mind. He in the party, next thing you know, T.D. Jake's in there, allegedly, swanging them hips. He got them niggas in there doing the electric slide at the Diddy party, man. And Meek Mill had the audacity to put them fries on his lap and ask Diddy to eat it off his chest with some ketchup. Man, how zesty can zesty get? I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm going to be here all night. The phone lines is open and I ain't done talking. I bought his CD. I bought his mixtapes. I thought Meek Mill was the truth, man. These type of rumors could ruin somebody's career. So all of this stuff is alleged allegations. But if an inch or a little bit of this is true, that mean we all been fooled. Meek Mill got a rich boyfriend with a little boy toy mini me in between them, man. They said Cuba Gooden Jr. was trying to get freaky with Lil Rye. He was getting frisky with him. He trying to work on the beat and Cuba Gooden couldn't keep his hands off of him. And he got it all on tape, evidence proof. He knew he was in a foul situation. It was a nightmare living with Diddy. That boy smart. He documented all of the zest for the world to see for 30 million dollars. He got Diddy by the balls. Diddy somewhere shaking. Lil Rod got him in the jam. Life keep on getting worse. Who gonna sue him next? His mother. Hopefully she don't sue him. Cause if she do, he might as well just turn into the Joker for real. He should have never dressed it up like the Joker. That's where he played his life. You don't do shit like that. He seen what happened to Keith Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix and his dumb ass gonna go out there and do the same thing, man. You don't play with no shit like this. He thought he was funny. Now he out here, he really turned into the Joker. This man about to go crazy. And the range ain't no telling what he gonna do. Put him on America's Most Wanted. But that's Negro here nor there. I hope y'all enjoying yourselves, man. Cause I ain't never seen nothing this terrible ever happen in my life, bro. It's some wild ass rumors of all kinds. Meek Mill beefing with academics over the Diddy rumors as well. But these French fries with this ketchup. I know it don't sound like dessert, but that takes the cake. Oh my goodness. He in the pool, he doing thought girl shit. Oh my goodness. That sound like something young Miami would do. Bring some French fries to the side of the pool. Like I'm acting bad. He got ketchup all in the pool. Like damn me, why you doing that shit? Cause I know it make you mad. I'm about to act bad. He crossed his legs and put the, he scattered the fries all about his legs on some hood ghetto zesty fantasy shit for Diddy, man. Hold on, there it go right there. Hold on. Look at that child. Look, 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 look. Like come and get it, Diddy. Oh my goodness. Diddy in the pool. He like, hold up, I smell french fries. Y'all smell that? Damn, I'm hungry in the mud. Smell like fries in here. What y'all in there cooking? His stomach growling and shit. He look over. Meek Mill on the side of the pool. He got his legs crossed. He got a cheeseburger. Oops, I dropped my fries. Oh my hey, Playboy, that look good over there. What you eating? What you doing, daddy? I see you eating, Daddy. That look good over there, Daddy. And let me get some of that. Let me get one of them fries, Daddy. Oh, you bought the party to the party. Diddy old pudgy ass come floating over the meat mill. 
can't have no fries unless you eat it off my nibbles of ketchup. Oh my it's the only way you got to fry. Come on, man. Now you going to ask me something for some fries? You got to do something for me, too. Matter of fact, eat the fries on my nibbles with some ketchup. Nigga. Yeah, you like that. It tastes good, don't you, daddy? Oh my like, that's right, daddy. Uh, oh, this old bull got strength. Oh Woo! This old bull got strength. Oh, wait till I tell my niggas in Philly. That, that old bull got strength. I swear, I didn't know. Nigga Diddy, he's strong. That boy, whoo. That's a strong old bull. Like that nigga said, that Philly is... That Diddy is strong, old bull. What in the world is going on, man? Now, I know it sounds like I'm having way too much fun with the zesty talk. Oh my goodness. But I promise y'all I ain't, man. But this is something that we seeing on a regular daily basis. Every day I see the zest, man. Everywhere you go, the zesty situations, man. People be driving their cars real zesty. I seen a dude moonroof open and then the dude came out the sunroof and before he started doing whatever he was going to do, I pulled up and sped off. Oh my goodness. They be getting freaky on the expressway. Which, what y'all think that traffic all about? People be watching porn in their cars on the way home and be crashing. Like, oh boy, toy.com. You'd be like, why are these people driving like that? They drive so stupid. That's because they got something zesty. They listening to Lady Gaga or some shit, man. Oh my That's why they be acting like that. Meek Mill and Diddy together. Hugging, touching, having conversation, cuddling, snuggling, spooning. I don't want to believe that, but these are the rumors that's in the news. Now the French fry business, that's what got the internet buzzing. <laughs> Cause when Diddy do something like that, that mean he in love. The only time we seen him eat something off of anybody is when he was with his last baby moms. So for them to be exchanging bodily fluid and food, they living off each other, literally. He's supposed to be like a father figure, but shit. He more like his boyfriend. And Cassie witnessed everything. She had to be jealous. She got a zesty mind frame. Cassie zesty by association, even though she a female. She's very, very weird. She seen, man, Cassie seen all types of stuff. She participated. It, Diddy should have known better and I'm pretty sure his kids know about all of this stuff as far as him eating them fries off of that man thighs it's no telling what's really going on out here in these streets man for real y'all need to listen at this hold on yo go ahead play that That is horrible, 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 bow, man. That is horrible, 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 man. They saying allegedly that was Meek Mill and Diddy on the audio wilding for the night after getting sloppy drunk at one of them clubs, man. It sounds painful. It sounds like why they playing they self like that. <clears throat> I guess that's what all them chains and shit is about. It's really some kinky, freaky sex shit. 
Like if you hear me gagging, screaming too hard, just pull on the chain, man. Take me, take me out my misery with a Benzy chain. Like at least let me go out like a gangster. Choke me with one of my own chains. That sounds like some freaky deaky. Dominatrix. He throwing up the devil horns. I wouldn't put nothing past him. He probably put on that black leather shit in the whole nine chains and whips with fangs in his mouth. He probably do the whole gothic setup on some Madonna shit. Tupac did it with Madonna and he they idol. So who's to say that Meek Mill ain't on that kinky dinky? I would hate to think it. Hold up, man. Y'all need to see this. Gonna have a whole little segment, little sidebar. Tupac, the legendary. This who all your favorite rappers want to be. Was with Madonna. He was partied up with Sting. The same Sting that Diddy took that sample from. They had the part. They just lounging out there in Hollywood. Tupac was in the, he was y'all must don't know about Madonna this woman she the freak of the week and shout out to her man no disrespect to Madonna man but yeah Diddy <clears throat> was allegedly involved well we know he was involved with Pop so that's how low the game go man do y'all really want to go as low as the game could go Cause this shit can get deep, man. The whole Diddy story. Ain't no telling what them dudes be doing out there. With all that money. Get into, who gonna write you a check for all that money? Why they trying to do business with you? Why they gonna give you a deal for real? It be young gigolos in the game. Young gigolos. That's what they are, man. Let me show y'all something. I'm going to type in R. Hold on. Male. Y'all need to pay attention to this, man. Male, R, and... Yeah, male R&B singers. That's all we need to see. <clears throat> Every male R&B singer ain't nothing but a young sex worker, man. That's what they do. A young sex worker. That's all. You seen Genuine first video when he was on the pony? He was a sex worker, man. Get y'all mind right. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, hey, yo. Hey, Sean. How you doing? Oh, what's going on, Ma? How you feeling over there? I'm feeling okay, no complaints, no complaints. Just call in to say hello. Oh man, I'm so glad you called in because I was looking forward to a caller calling in so I could ask this question because this is something that the people need to know because we mm -hmm. having this dialogue inside of our own heads. It's about time we talk about it out loud and this ain't no disrespect to the artist. It's just casual conversation amongst the people, man. That's all. Okay, really go right is. ahead and just... And just to let you know, too, like, no, no, Kizzy, I just jumped in, so I'm not too in tune with the topic, but go on. Okay, I got you. I'm going to fill you in. The question is, is Meek Mill and Diddy the zestiest couple in hip hop? Because we heard stories about rappers being zesty, but we never knew who their zesty partner was. This the first time that we got two major rappers mm -hmm. linked together in a bromance. I mean, where did you get this information from? Like, and where has it all been over confirmed? The, it's all over the news. That's all that's in the blogs, it's the tabloids. The they talking about Meek Mill and Diddy and having relations. Now, this could all be a rumor. Okay. Before it to make it this far is because it's written in a lawsuit. It ain't like Tasha oh, K or okay. some blogger made up, some AI made up some shit. No. This is real deal. Uh -huh. This is actually coming notice, from the court office. Right. And notice how, like, with Hollywood, there's, you know, a lot of people are coming to terms with knowing that a lot of these 
so-called artists, you know, actors, you know, they, they subscribe to some sort of like ritualistic activities and engagement. It's kind of like a sorority, if you want to, you know, think of it um, to that extent. I think, honestly, if Meek Mills is tied to Diddy, just like several other individuals may be tied to Diddy, I think it's all a matter of a ritualistic thing that Hollywood engages with artists to kind of climb the ladder. Again, allegedly, um, you know, because some of it could be speculations as well. But for the most part, when it comes, because we're in the year of exposure, you know, 2024, you know, the veil has been lifted. And a lot of people, just like in 2020, with the whole COVID fiasco, you know, a lot of people were realizing and recognizing that a lot of these artists, um, one of them being Ellen DeGeneres and even like um, Oprah Winfrey, a lot of them were exposed for, um, you know, what is it, adrenochrome or something related to like, you know, kids and, you know, organ harvesting allegedly and stuff of that nature. Um, but just going back not to like, you know, change the subject, um, I feel like within this year, you know, obviously Diddy is in the forefront, but, you know, he obviously knows he's going down, but he's trying to, he's not going down alone, you know, he, he definitely has his own form of receipts, and I think anyone that's tied to Diddy or anyone that engages Diddy in a sense where they're seeking you know, that, you know, financial freedom, you know, the richness and just being able to climb the ladder through Hollywood, you know, there's obviously something that has to be done. Um, there's a lot of blackmailing that occurs in this industry because Oh, okay, not to cut you off, thing. Ma. I had to, I had to drink some juice and everything. Last thing I heard you say was say something about blackmailing. And that's what we talk about tonight. Diddy been blackmailing mm -hmm. for a long time with these black mm -hmm. males. He all about them. Mm -hmm. I thought he was about <laughs> them women, but he about them black males, man. And he got blackmail on them I black mean, males. They got tapes. He was showing it off the I little mean. ride. Like, look at Stevie J. Stevie getting bucked. But look, he doing the booty. That's what we do. I got Stevie I mean, J. A, he showed him a, a tape. He a showed him a tape in the lawsuit. It it's in the lawsuit. He showed him a tape. A he showed him a tape of Diddy and Meek Mill, Diddy and Usher. He just, he showed them, he got evidence and proof. Don't you think that a lot of these, don't you think a lot of these celebs, these so-called celebs, they were put in an uncompromising position where it's like, all right, what do you value more? Do you value the riches, the women, the money, the gold, the success? Or do you want to go back to your traditional regular nine to five? You know, I think a lot of these artists were put in a position where they had to pick and choose. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of the artists that are taught to him, maybe they did embark in that, you know, journey with him. Maybe they did engage him in that sort of sense. But, you know, like someone like Meek Mills, maybe he felt compromised. Like he had to compromise his sanity. His He had to compromise the, the person that he is just so that way he could have, you know, that access to fame. Not saying that he made a poor decision or he made a right decision. You know, at the end of the day, you know, me personally, I'm a woman, woman of my word. You know, I stand in my own dignity. You know, I, I respect my own autonomy and I respect the world and people around me to respect my autonomy. So I'm not going to go out of my way to gain, you know, riches and compromise my, my, my whole belief system. But not everyone is built that way, Sean. Not everyone is built that way, especially yeah. if you're coming from a, you know, society where it's like, you know, you're eating ramen noodles or you're just, you know, you're struggling. You're trying to get your mom, you know, her first home or something. Again, I'm not, you know, negating that what Meek Mill allegedly did yeah. is right. We but I feel you. like you know, Sean P. Combe, Diddy, no whatever doubt. you want to call him, no love. All he that. definitely put a lot of people in compromise for success. And I honestly people. feel like he's a real demon. Yeah, real demon when I look at this man, that. even when you I was young. Write a blog and all that. That's what you're going to have to do, shorty. You're going to have to get online and do a Facebook or Instagram or a TikTok, right? A blog. Really? You feeling what I'm saying? You feeling the gems I'm dropping tonight? That's I'm, what's I'm up. feeling the gem, uh, sister, sister but the gem, you, you got to let hey. the gem fall. You not let, mm. you dropping all these gems, got people thinking that they cubic zirconians because you keep on talking and all that. Because you're holding on to your invisible pearls. You pouring oh, water into the slot 
of a vending machine, man. You ain't gonna get nothing pouring water. Machine. You gotta have some change. Do do your little five cents. I gotta get some change. And that's all. That is true. That is true. Maybe one day you could come on my platform. Face your face. platform. You. you talking about invisible pearls? What about them damn dildos in your pants? He said dildos. Nah, she I like out the here. She, I like she the got them gray sweatpants on in the grocery store, walking around no junk plastic. with the junk no swing, with the need... junk swinging. Nah, talking need... about I'm clutching my invisible, clutching my invisible pearls. Cocky pulling me. I ain't got. You want me want to scream? I ain't got no invisible pearls. Who told you that? Listen, listen, the listen. Audacity. We can make that shit happen. Do you do you know who yes. I am? You have not heard. Who are you? I'm Sean sure Blazington. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> I built the industry off of celebrities exposing their dirty <laughs> deeds. And they don't want to give me my credit. I am the one. I changed the okay, game. Okay, I'm what, the what, one what? that put this shit together. Me, that's who. Yeah, all the AI yeah, still yeah, in my yeah, swag. Yeah. They all want to have goofy, Get silly titles. Yourself. They want to be goofy Get in the thumbnails. Yourself. They want to be goofy pull, pull, in the pull, titles. Pull. Everybody wants to be goofy. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Ross Clark want to be goofy because of Sean <laughs> Blazing Time. The greatest wrestler, greater than The Rock, greater than Hulk Hogan, greater, greater than all the greats. Greater than Jack saw him in Duggan. He's greater than Ric Flair. He's the greatest, the greatest wrestler, the greatest YouTuber, the greatest fuck, the greatest fucking YouTuber. Damn. From here to okay, Austria, bro? from here to Austria. From here to Sean, the Himalayas. From the Himalayas of Sean Blazington, they know him. How dare you do it? The audacity to talk to me in that That's way. The you yeah, know what, thanks. sister? I love you to death, man. You, know, I ain't had this much I fun love you more. in a long time, man. I love you more. I, I, I love you more than that. While you over there giggling, I'm dead sick. Yeah, I'm serious and all I that. Know. I Okay. It's getting hot. I need to drink. Matter of fact, hold it on is. while I drink me some water. Drink some water. You... Go to that vending machine you were mm -hmm. speaking about earlier. That up top flavor, man. I could feel it and I mm. like it, man. Got me think about that Jamaican food from the bodegas and all that. Hey, yeah. the, the, what you call it? The, mm -hmm. the patty and the. Um, yeah. Yeah, the With cocoa, the cocoa bread, bread. yeah, you feel, you know, we vibing. Mm -hmm. I got to go, cause your flavor, ma. You got to go. Woo! It's hot. It's hot up Too in hot. here. I can't take it Too no hot. more. I need to go. I gotta go. Matter of fact, crazy. make sure you call back the next time we go live. I'm gonna save your phone number as hot All sauce. Right, oh, okay. Call right, me. Hot sauce. Call me later. later. Call All me, right. baby. Oh, I'm definitely gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna holler at you. All right, right. So, all right, all right. Woo! I gotta go. <laughs> I got to go. Oh man. I think I'm about to burn up, man. That was incredible. But you know what? That better not have been a man. Oh my goodness. Gotta ask people nowadays, man. I should that should have been the first thing. I ain't wanna disrespect her or nothing like that, but damn man. You just this meat mill and diddy stuff going on you just never know i've been dealing with zest for a long time man i hunted like a hundred zesty videos man and i'll be looking in the mirror like bruh yo hello hello who this is man yo sean what's up this is jordan from san antonio i called last week you called me justin man Yo, what it do, bro? You call back. We appreciate the love and support, man. So glad to have you back on these phone lines. But we talking about Diddy again, man. And they got Meek Mill name all up in the situation. And I ain't trying bro. to entertain this shit, but they keep on talking about it. How you feel about it? Man, I don't know how the fuck you feel about it, man. You fucking played some shit earlier. Sound like some nigga was getting them cheeks clap hard. I don't know what the fuck. Man, that shit real... I, now, with, with all that be, cussing, I, I it don't even matter what you're talking about with all that cussing. Because I don't make you ain't got to do that. If this was the Joe I, Rogan show, you wouldn't be called in there talking like that. Why you got to get right, ignorant because you on the phone with Sean Blazerton? Hey, ain't nobody realer than that. 
we we want to hear you say what you got to say without all that cussing in the bag. Respectfully, no, man good, to man. man. You're, Respectfully. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. No, all respect. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I honestly, I, I already know. I, I kind of feel like that's exactly what's going on. And and, and, and the last sister that was just calling just now, yeah, I, she knows what's up. She knows what's up. And, and anything besides that, I mean, you already know what it is. Everybody's man, everybody, just going and curse, all... man. Just you know, what I'm saying I take the L, man. If they go on demonetize or whatever, copyright strike, whatever they gonna do, I'm gonna take the L. Cause you can't get your point across if you ain't i ain't know that now i understand why you was cussing and acting like that you weren't trying to be rude that's the best way you get your point across so for the sake of the you, you know gotta, forget you, you, man you gotta be a little ignorant yeah you gotta, you gotta be, just you know, do you the gotta... ignorant thing again because you ain't achieving with the other one man you trying to be you your sophistication game ain't hitting right now we need you to get back to the ignorant so we can understand what you're trying to say bro there, there, there ain't no effort without the E, and E comes with explicit. Come on, ain't nobody tell you to get your dictionary and all, man. Oh man went in the closet <laughs> and got the dictionary. Yeah, you all confused. All I'm trying to do is tell you to be yourself, and if yourself is some cussing, blabbering bastard, we need you to be the cursing, blabbering bastard, so you can feel comfortable, man. We family around here. I'm just trying to get to know you, man. Don't take offense to none of this. You said nah, you called in before, man. and then you called in again, so I figure if you're gonna be calling, I gotta know who the hell called on my damn phone. And I don't mean nah, no disrespect, did, man, because you did a whole lot of cussing when you first got on the phone. And I'm still trying to understand, why would you even do something like that? Is that I mean, I'm going to be honest, man, that shit, kind of, that shit makes me mad. Because you see, you see all these guys out here, and they act a certain way, and it just ain't what it is. And I mean, and, and that's, that's, a, that's a fairy tale that every, you know, a majority of men and women have to tell for themselves just so they can feel better about themselves you know i'm not gonna lie. i've told a couple fairy tales in my life too but the thing is like when you bring it to a certain extent when you're at a superior level like that when you're with you got people looking up to you and you're playing a part like the thing is that you're only playing at that part you said you told a couple of fairy tales in your life is that the reason why you interested in meek mill and diddy Nah, that ain't it, man. I'm just saying, you you got these people that make themselves sound like they're something that they're not. Are you one of them people? Because you gave us direct details about how you told fairy tales once upon a time in your life, bro. Do you want to elaborate sorry. on that? Because you made it clear that you told some freaky deaky fairy tales like you was living like Meat oh, Mill no, and no, Diddy was no. living back in the day and all that. Uh, hey, Sean. Hey, my bad. Um, hey, I'm 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 gonna call in the uh, next stream. My, my wife finds Guys, Hold on, you got a whole wife over there and you talking zesty on the phone with us? Do you mind if we talk with your wife? I would love to holler at her real fast with all due respect. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Go oh, ahead. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Hello? Hello, yes. Oh, my God. I can't believe how Sometimes graceful. Sometimes don't know how to get his words together. You just so graceful, man. You ain't even say nothing. I can feel your presence before you even open your mouth. That is amazing. And that is a lucky fellow over there. A luck. He got a whole queen. The, the I can feel is, her vibe. The thing is, is that I'm the one who talks to him. He doesn't know how to get his work together. How you gonna belittle that man <laughs> on national television <laughs> like that? You basically say he was slow enough. That ain't right. You supposed to be his faithful, beautiful wife, and you gonna tell the world that your hubby he just can't get him him words together. Oh my God. Nope, he's. Hey, I'm a real one though. I keep I keep it honest. I always tell him to just stay quiet most of the time. <laughs> I was just joking with him. He said everything perfectly fine. I was just being an asshole. Oh, what no. not wrong? What in the wrong That's with, with how that brother was talking? He talked absolutely fine. But for him, him his wife to get on the phone and tell hey, 
it, it's all love over here, Sean. We've got nothing but love for you, sir. Oh, I got love for y'all too, but they want to know, do y'all got love for each other? I am confused. Oh my goodness. How she, how she going to say you husband. slow? How, you say he he's was slow. He's not slow. He's not slow. He just doesn't know how to speak his mind sometimes. He don't know. <laughs> Who are you to tell that man oh my that he don't know how to speak his mind so, sometimes? How you gonna belittle him like that in front of everybody? Um, That's like saying he handicapped. Like you got a disabled oh, husband is. in the game. <laughs> oh, you said what now? Oh, I said he is. Hey, nah, I've I've been sh I've been shot a couple times, man. I'm not gonna lie. I am kind of I am kind of handicapped. So you. Yeah. I'm trying to save you, my brother. I'm trying to pull you out of the swamp. You've been in the quicksand. No. I'm trying to get you out the quicksand, boy, and get you clamped up. You gonna reject? Uh, I'm trying to help the situation. She belittling you, man, and you gonna come in and help rub her shoulders while she doing the belittling? Oh, oh no! Hell no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, I will not abide it. And I will. I know she on the phone <laughs> looking crazy. She over there looking crazy. Uh, she looks alright. <laughs> Hold on. How, how you gonna say your wife look all right? That's your queen, Mother Divine. That beautiful is right. woman. That's my you, queen. She's supposed to be the beauty, the apple of your eye. And you gonna tell me she look alright? What? Oh my God! It's all love over here. Why y'all disrespecting you. each other like that? <laughs> Good, bro. Yeah, no, we're. I, I'm just trying to change your guards out, man. She just had surgery and shit. Oh my goodness. Is she okay? Yeah, she's she's good, man. I mean, that's what that's what that's what a couple does for each other, man. We take care of each other. Was, I don't know how this turned into a relationship fucking uh story. Hold on, what, was it cosmetic surgery or was something wrong with her? Nah, she, yeah, it was it was all medical, bro. She ain't over there with the BBL sitting on fat. Oh, hell no. That's just sitting right. That's just all natural. Oh, okay. We just check it, man. Because you over there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we live in a new era. People put themselves hey, down for the count. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes now. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I hear you. Hold on. Wait. Uh, hey, what's up, baby? Say hey, what's up, Sean? That's my daughter. That's we got the whole family on the phone, man. I love y'all. I know your wife over there salty and she gonna be sucking her teeth the next time you listen in to Sean Blazerton, but we love her too, man. Hey, it's all love, man. Can I hey, talk to I your wife? It, can I talk to your wife one more time, bro? Just this the last time, I promise. Nah, you good, bro. Hey, hey, we're gonna be fans forever. Uh no doubt. Yeah. where she at? Where she at? Okay. I just wanna let you know that regardless of what was said tonight i enjoy your conversation i don't know what it is or what you said or nothing but it was enjoyable like i told you i could feel your presence through the phone and everything you are a beautiful divine creature i just wanted to say that before i let you go just in case there was any discrepancies between us man i ain't zesty and all oh, that no, there's not. i i know i'm a good woman yeah and I take care of my you do <laughs> and that's why i had to let you know about your greatness before i got up off this phone because you divine sister i had to let you know that and the next time y'all call you should be the one calling. If he got something to say, you know, you can hand him the phone and all that. And I appreciate the both of y'all the same, man. Regardless, we family. And I'm going to holler at you yep. later. Real talk, man. You be good. All right, take care, take care. No doubt. It is what it is, man. That was a hetero, a very heterosexual conversation. And it was very much needed on a zesty ass video like this man if it got diddy on it you know it's gonna be about somebody getting a butt bones broke if you see diddy on the thumbnail you ready to listen to this look how he's sitting there all nice and polite hold on stop go back to that He's sitting there like his mother's favorite baby boy. Oh my goodness. He 
leaned to the side and took a picture with a smile. Like, yeah, I did it. I'm chasing my dreams. I'm making my money. He had a moment. <clears throat> he took off them pink shoes and just, it's a wonderful world, man. He took a, a moment to appreciate his life. He kick off them pink shoes and say, wow. Oh my goodness. Nigga took a picture. With his, his favorite baby boy smile. Thought he was supposed to be gangster. OG in the dressing room taking pictures. With a beautiful smile. Nigga, oh. Um, he all in the pool. Look like he taking a dump in the pool. Like, oh. Uh, the toilet broke. T.D. Jake's power bottom broke all the toilets, man. Had to go outside. <laughs> he acting like he ain't in there taking the dump. He had to go outside and handle his business, man. There's some crazy stuff going on. But one thing for sure. Yo, Reg, what the hell going on with all this stuff, man? You got the screen looks stupid. You got a midget in between Diddy. Get this Photoshop shit out of here, man. Oh I mean, a little person, a little person. <clears throat> it's some other stuff we got to get on to that we got to talk about. And we ain't going to waste no time. We're going to get into it right now. Um, Yo, pull up that clip that we had. The one for the people. Hold on. We ain't even give a shout out to the people in the comment section. What, what's, what's going on? Yo, I do apologize, man. Donald I gotta Trump give a special shout out to the people that's watching the video right now, man. We got Brandy Cartier, officially Barcelona, Annie 411, Monique Watt, QS and Beerus in the building, man. Katrina Smith, Lone Wolf, Nobody's, Umtivious Banks, Tomorrow, Key Lewinsky, James Smith is in the building, man. Who else we got? Sis Yafa Ya Israel 12, Tom Gotti, Tyson Garcia, and Detroit's finest, man. Yo, everybody that left that green vegan is in the building, man. It must be a, a new moon, a super moon or something because she only come around once in the blue moon. But whatever moon it is, it's a beautiful sight to see. I'm so glad she in the building. Shout out to the green vegan, man. Y'all show her some love. And she a member too, just like Monique Watts. My name Monique Watt. She from New Orleans, a, a real mystical fan, man. Long Wolf is kicking it. James Alfred Strong. And did I mention I'm Tivius Banks? He the best telemarketer you ever met in your life, man. He got on his telemarketing suit. He been doing telemark. He'll call you and sell you a coffee table, even if you don't drink coffee, man. The best telemarketer ever, man. And for everybody else watching the video, I got love for y'all too. Let's get back into this. Cause Diddy had a taste for some fries, according to this information. And Meek Mill was the one offering up all of the snacks. One isolated zesty situation. I flipped that and turned it into a whole YouTube video, even though it's nothing but allegations and speculation. Since Diddy is zesty, you got to question the zest. And that's all we doing. I'm going to be doing this all month. Don't hate me because I question the zest. You need to start doing that too in your life. When you start thinking about the people in your life and the relationships they have with other people, man. It'd be two big booty girls that be besties. Who's to say one day, both of they fine big bubble butt asses oh don't decide to have a freak off or something. You got to question the zest, man. If your son always want to be with his friends, he's staying out late. He got a best friend. Them dude, they out there playing basketball, hanging. They always in each other face. 
You think them boys just being boys, but um, it's 2024. And all they want to do is play 2K and they be sitting there next to each other all day like some zombies, not even communicating. So how you think they going to react when they start to get horny and all that? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, hey, Sean. What's going on? We need you to cut you over there blasting that thing over there like heavy metal. Don't be trying to talk shit because it's my first time calling in. You rock and roll into the Sean Blazerton show. How can I be mad at that? Absolutely. How you doing tonight? Man, I'm doing amazing. So glad and blessed to be on the phone with you. Whatever you got to say, I'm about to put my feet up and we just going to listen to what you have to say. We all is, sister. <laughs> no, I actually wanted to figure out what the hell is going on with Diddy and Meek and them goddamn matching outfits. I want to start there. And I also want to hit to figure out Remember games that he spent two years hanging out with uh, Diddy and they never made no music? They never stepped a day in the studio? <clears throat> two whole years. They was buddies. They was hanging. He ain't had no job. It ain't like game was working <laughs> at UPS. He all the way from California in New York with Diddy for years. Diddy paying shopping. that man bills. He shopping. He out. He the number one <laughs> thotty wide. <laughs> He, uh, he said that Diddy was buying him watches and shit, and I'm like, if he didn't even, if he didn't up that to Diddy, I really think that Diddy might have slipped him a little something and, and got it cracking without his knowledge. A kept and man. And tried shit over his head to keep that little vacation going for two years. A kept man. Can you imagine? You pay all his bills, buy his clothes, do all that stuff, just so he can spend time with Daddy. <laughs> He out there living. He got that man balling. All that money from that music, the videos. He's stunting on game. Don't show him a whole new life. Do you think that like Diddy, it's whole, I think the whole thing is, I think he wants to conquer every man out there. I think it's all about power. And you know what I'm saying? Having something over everybody's um, head, kind of. And trying to turn straight men out, too. Not to only me, I just think to him. Oh, go ahead. People want to live out their little fantasies, man. You never know when that stuff started for these people. Meek Mill been in and out of jail for a long time. They got him on the clip talking about when you lose a celly you've been with for six months or more, you be feeling like you lost a chick. He said you feel That's like he said? he said you feel like you lost your girlfriend when they take your celly out your cell. Do you think that like um? Uh, Cassie was having any freak offs with like other men in the industry or do you think that it was just people you know how he was looking for the BBCs and everything I think he was probably I think they had all type of shit cracking and I'm like I, I know goddamn well um, Diddy something is just full of Hollywood uh, semen including yeah. Petey in including um, uh, what's that, what's, what do they call him uh, the bottom what what's the power <laughs> bottom T.D. Jakes the a.k.a. Power. The power bottom. You was wondering. You was wondering if Cassie had freak offs with Diddy and other celebrities. Yeah, like maybe you know some other rappers. I'm pretty sure that would be a great way to impress anybody. Like Cassie, take that off. Yeah, go on, go on, take that off. Take take that off for my homie. I've never liked Timmy. I just think Timmy, he's out of control. And let me tell you something that bothered me. So if you look at that drink champ thing when he was uh, approached fabulous with yeah. that, how come you don't want to party with me? Yeah. Why didn't, you got to pay attention to the fact that um, fabulous or Jadakus didn't even seem shocked when he's sitting there talking to Nori and telling him he liked when he's scrambling and scraping and calling him daddy. So what that tells me is they're used to this. What if every because, last black celebrity is a clone and it's a puppet show put on by the industry to make it seem as if people of color could actually have opportunities to make big money in music, man? What if it's all just a puppet show and they I all? I think that I think that it is. I do think that part of it is is, is a distraction from what's really going on. What if they manufacture the these people literally like in laboratory, look left, look right, A, B, C, D? How come they haven't thrown Kanye in any of this gay stuff? 
because man he like the archetype for the failure that's about to happen to black america if we keep on with this foolishness man him <laughs> and candace owens they just <laughs> forecasted the future they staying ahead of the game like in 2030 when this shit blows up we're gonna be living on the moon kanye on the fucking moon man <laughs> Did you know that? We're going to be like the only black people in space. They have no fucking idea what's about to happen to civilization. Like, I know white lives matter. I know that's what it's all about because they about to be gone anyway. Ain't that shit? I, ain't that scary? Yeah, yeah, very scary. I just think in general, Diddy is scary to me. I'm just like, I've seen what you, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before when, remember when he po you posted that thing about um, this is what happens when you fall asleep at a Diddy party or whatever, or something like that. And it was a white boy that looked like he had a collar around his neck. Yeah, it was crazy. I I know. So the, to me, it's like anybody who knows his reputation. I don't see how anybody would feel safe being around him. Shit, I don't I think know. To me, Carisha, if you think about Carisha, I think Carisha, she'd have to be a Stone Cold freak. And probably she was in it definitely for the money. Participating in the damn freak off, I think that she, so she, I think she was feeling it. Man, I think them dudes at QC sent her ass to Diddy's Flavor Camp to get her ass some flavor. They like this chick ain't hitting like that, and that's what people <laughs> do when you got somebody on your label, and um, they they sauce just ain't hitting. They send them to the Flavor Camp. Like, yo, Diddy, we got <laughs> oh, this like chick. For, yeah. And I like think he was show he was showboating her around just to get her buzz, and she took it to the max. She on the show talking about, "Do we go together?" He looking like chick, you wilding right now. The camera's rolling. She suckered his ass into a relationship, and it blew up in his face. She an opportunist, looking for any. She was desperate on that show. Um, we, um, we go together um, real, yeah, real, yeah, real yeah. bad, real, real bad. We go together real, real. He looking like, well, I don't go like she with got you. A goddamn, um, she acts like she got a, like she got a king, and I'm like, this nigga don't even like women. Man, this but ain't nothing. You, I mean, like you, some 106 on Park bullshit relation. They did it for the gram. I know, but to me, that's just crazy. I wonder, I would like to be a fly on the wall and see what goes on. Like, how, do, how does the, who starts the freak off with all these men in a room together? Because you have to think about this. Do you know, like, when he said, oh, I like variety, and he brought up, uh, Jay, uh, not Jay-Z, he brought up uh, Tyrese and uh, Ray J when they were in Vegas and some other guy, and he, and he's like, I like them being spontaneous. Diddy, Diddy is literally putting the other niggas out there on blast. Like as if, you know, they down with the zestiness, which we know they all are. I believe all the motherfuckers is uh, getting together and probably uh, blowing each other. <laughs> so you called up here to do that girly gossiping and spilling tea. And I understand you a girl and all that, but um, you ain't got no henny in your flow. No, I'm sipping on some vodka. You got some straight up juicy juice that you spilling to the people right now. I, I listen, I be following you and watching the damn show. Plus, I be watching a lot of uh, what's going on with Diddy and what he's been dibbling and dabbing, dibbling and dabbling into. And um, I'm just like, so I, this I zesty hour for you is you just time you get you some ice cream and sit back and just get zesty. Like, ooh, zesty time. You treating this like this is the sweetest channel on YouTube and all that. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Because you be cracking me up. I be rolling. I be like watching your little shit on repeat. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about, man. I love the love and I respect the fact that you called in and showed me. I already know you're going to boot me man. off. I already know how you're going to the roll out of I would never Don't even do me. I'm going to be calling I, back. And my name is Shonda, and don't forget. Shonda, I'm about to save your number. And I'm going to hit that cash up. You're going you gonna to do what now, you said? I'm going to hit that cash up. I'm going to hit that cash up. I'm going to need you to inbox me a little something sweet. Shonda, you done did it this time because I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what's really going on, man. Because I'm... Yeah, I mean, you, I, you, you, know, you know, I sound a little sexy, huh? You got me stuck, and I'm over here looking like a fool in front of all these people. You know what, Shonda? <laughs> 
I'm a, I'm gonna save your number and everything in the phone. The, the next time you call, well, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, uh -huh. yeah, the, 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 I would we'll love to talk to you. Yeah, no, 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 no. And I, I like to hey. talk to you later. So and I love you. you. Thank and you for calling in. Don't, don't, don't be no stranger. Don't, don't be no stranger. stranger. I love you to death, baby. We gonna holler at you later. Real talk, no doubt, Shonda. So all right, son. All right, all right, baby. I had to let her go. Uh, oh my God. What you over there doing? Yo, mind your business, man. Mind your business. I'm just over here just straightening out my situation and all that. That woman had my neck sweating, y'all. It's going to take a while for me to um, get my... I'm trying to put her number in the... Um, okay, there it go. I'm going to put... Hold on. Let me save the number, right? Y'all stay tuned because I need to know who be calling me. I'm going to put... Y'all listen to what I put. I'm going to put T-H-I-C-K... In capital letters and put Shonda. Hold on, hurry up, put Shonda. Somebody else calling. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, it saved her number and all that. Hold on, wait. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, this 215 Top reporting live from Philly. Meek Mill, former manager, man. Meek Mill's former manager is on the phone right now. he been dealing with me. 215 Top is my Instagram. That's his Checking Instagram, yo. man. He, this the real deal right here on the phone. Thank you for calling in, brother, man. The floor is yours. Whatever you got to say, we all listening. Yeah, like I said, I'm his former manager, man. And uh, I'm his former manager for a reason, man. It's like a lot of weird shit I've seen. Like one night, right? Me and Meek be together and shit. We in the White Coast. So Puff calling shit. This was right after uh, he dropped a drink with Drake when he said Lori Harvey for Christmas. So Puff called him and was like, he's like, yo, I got a gift for you, playboy. Come up to the spot and shit. You know what I mean? So we go to the spot. It was in a Hampton. In Hampton and shit. When we get there, you know what I'm saying? Lori Harvey was there and shit, right? I'm like, oh shit, she's bad as shit, right? Yeah. So boom, Meek all excited and shit. This then the third. So, uh, so Meek, Lori Harvey and Puff, they all go to like to the back of the room and shit or whatever like that. Now I don't know what happened from there until after what Meek told me what happened when he got out because I had to stay outside the room and shit. But when Meek got out and shit, I was like, yo, what the fuck happened? My nigga just sent third blah blah blah. He told me that him and Puff ran the train on Lori Harvey and shit, right? I'm like, oh shit, for real? This man third blah blah blah. Everything was cool until he told me, right? He said that she was riding him and shit. You know what I mean? Hitting the puss. And then he said uh, Diddy was hitting it, hit, hitting up from the bunky hole and shit. But I was like, that? I'm like, what? I was like, y'all double penetrating? He like, yeah, this and third. So he showed me the video. He had the video and shit. He told me some boy was recording and shit. Some boy named Rodney or whatever. He's just recording it. This phone. So. I see the video and shit, so Puff hitting this shit from the back while Meek laying there on his back. And like, they balls is like slapping each other and shit. So I'm like, yo, pause, boy. Like, what the fuck is this? Or whatever like that. So he like, uh, he like, nah, so, so, so while they balls are slapping together, you know, Puff hitting, he like, yeah, daddy. Yeah, daddy. He like, he like, yeah. And when the balls slap together, he like, that shit get me horny, this and third, blah, blah, blah. And then me tell me that, that that shit made him come out his ass and shit, yo. And that's when I knew that like I had to stop fucking with boy. Like I'm like, yo, boy, like this Hollywood shit got you really crazy and shit. And then I remember back in 2014 when he told me some shit and never left my mind. He said, yo, why the nigga Puff just gave me eighty thousand dollars just to clip my toenails and shit. I'm like, huh? Like I'm like that shit ain't normal. And he was like, yeah, but then gave me 80K or whatever like that. The only reason, I ain't gonna lie, I should have got on his ass then, but he blessed me with 35K. So I was like, I like kind of kept my mouth shut. Like, I mean, like, fuck, 35K, and I needed the bread, or whatever like that. And I'm like, put in my head, I'm like, I'm just keep managing this goofy ass nigga, like, get the bread or whatever. But the last straw was that shit that happened with Lori Harvey. Like, when I, when I seen the video, I seen the actual video of um, Lori Harvey on top of me and me. me Meek and then Diddy had this shit in her, her, her boom boom had that shit in her butt. And then when I seen both them niggas' balls were slapping on each other, and fucking Puff was talking about, yeah, that shit made me go crazy. This man, third, and Meek told me he came out of his ass. That's why I knew I couldn't fuck with Boom no more. So, like, 
I mean, like, niggas is zesty, man. Like, I can't, I can't rock with boy no more. We ain't, we ain't been fucking each other ever since 2021. Oh, pause. Oh. Oh. No, I don't mean like that. Hold on, bro, man. Pause your pump, pump, pump your brakes, bro, man. Just, just hold chill. I let you talk we, for a long time, bro, man. I let you talk for like five minutes straight. So I got a few things I want to get off my chest real fast. Now you said right, you said that you was with me, and they had Lori Harvey doing the three way, and Meek felt like it was all right for him to show you the tape of him being super duper zesty with Puff. Now, what will make him feel so comfortable enough with you to show you him in the act of doing something strange unless he felt like you were strange and he only probably want to roll with other strange people. And then you came out your mouth just now and don't say you didn't do it because we got it on audio tape, brother. You said you and Meek Mill ain't been banging each other for a minute. You slipped no, up and said it, but that, that's what you... I said, we, I said, I ain't been fucking with boy ever since. That's what I said. I said, I ain't been fucking with boy ever that's since. That's what you meant to say. And then, as far as the, the, the tape, he didn't feel like it was zesty. Like, you know I mean? He felt like it was just a regular, degular train. Like, but was doing double penetration. And them niggas' balls was slapping each other. Like, and then the nigga told me that he came on his hand. And that's when I who came fucking out, who, with, with you said who what they they boo booed on themselves or something? No, he told me that he came out his head. How you do that? A man could do that? I don't know. I I don't know. I did that. I don't, but I, but I'm assuming it's from them niggas balls slamming each other. And it was some shit that he never felt before. That's what I'm assuming. So, it, so he doodled on on homie while they was doing it. Oh my God, he said like, he came out his ass. He ain't mentioned nothing about doodle. He put words in my mouth. He said he came out. He said that shit made him come out of his hand. So for them, that shit possible. So hold on. Wait a minute. Oh my so it, he that zesty? He didn't think it was zesty. He said that they was just running a train on it. He didn't think it was. I told him it was zesty. I told him it was zesty. And I already had plans on stop fucking with him like that as far as being his manager. I already had plans on stopping, but once he seen that I wasn't with what he just showed me, he had stopped answering my phone calls anyway. But it was this thing he did have to answer my phone call on because the business was already sealed with us, so we had to go through that. That's when we went to Barcelona. So we did that one last trip together going to Barcelona because we was already paid for and I still had to get my back in. But other than that, after, as soon as we came home from Barcelona, it was over with. So he moved on like he just wasn't speaking to you or nothing. It was just a cold shoulder. It was just a cold shoulder after that. Just a cold shoulder. But like I said, I planned on stop not rocking with him anyway. But after he showed you that that wild ass tape and he was probably hoping that you would like it or bond with him or nod your head or dap him up or, you know, That's lick your thought. lips or some shit. He probably was hoping that you was with it. That's well, yeah. That's what I'm assuming he that he did probably thought. Cause when I was like, yo, I was like, when I seen the joint, I was like, yo, pause, boy, like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, yo, this, you know what I mean? We just running it down the bitches down there, like y'all, me and you used to do. I said, yo, this ain't no shit me and you used to do, nigga. I said, we ain't never do no motherfucking double penetration, nigga. Like, don't even put that shit out there. Yo, what this you said third. your Instagram was, homie? Cause I want to share. Two one five top. Two one five T A K. Hold on. Two one five T what? T A K, T A K, two one five T A K. I'm looking for That's it. it. Yeah, ain't ain't uh, pop. Hold on, man. I, I I know I ain't been kind or nothing, cause all I see is some Vietnamese people, man. Two one five top T A K, two one five top T A K. I typed it in and nothing, bro. I'm looking for talk. Hold on. 215 is it top 215 top 215 you said 215 top well i got 215 top and 215 top and top 215 come on man i don't those, see those both me yo either way man we gonna take your word for it you called in and let us know your meek your meek mill stories but we need you to say allegedly before we let you up off I ain't these got, phone look, I ain't got to say allegedly. I ain't, I live this shit. I live this shit. Nick know who the fuck I am. 
So you're not even gonna say allegedly for the record. I ain't, I ain't gotta say allegedly, Sean. I'm telling you, I ain't gotta say allegedly. Look, I've been I've been listening to you for the last past few years, for real, for real. Like, yeah, I mean, even I ain't gonna lie, me and Meek, we even listened to you. We thought you was funny and shit. We used to be, whatever, like that. So you know, I'm just looking at my joint, and I seen you come up on my YouTube joint. I'm like, yo, let me call in and shit and fuck with Sean. Let him know about this shit, man. Since I don't fuck with Buddy no more. Yo, you said Meek Mill was listening to the Sean Blazington show? Yeah, we used to listen to you, no bullshit. We used to listen to you and shit. We used to be big, and like, you know what I mean? Because you was funny and shit. What was the joint? Let's see, what was the joint that we was cracking up on and shit? We was watching you. I think it was about, uh... What the fuck was it about? I think it was the episode with, uh... Wait, about Young Thug. About Young Thug and, uh... YSL Woody and all the niggas. And Meek Mill was cracking too. up? Yeah, we was cracking up because you had uh, YSL Woody on there, some shit like that. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, that joint, that joint. We was cracking the fuck up on that joint. Yo, you still got his number and all that? Because I've been doing a lot of videos about Diddy, man, and they got connections. I know they fired him from Revolt and all that, but he could still leave a recommendation. But it ain't going to be on no zesty shit, man. 215 Talk told me to get y'all look matter of fact i can't say your name because they blackballed you and all that man but i could still use that info matter of fact this your instagram i'm gonna send you a million kajillion messages about me Mill, man uh you, you look, look look matter of fact since I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send you i'm gonna send you a d i'm gonna send you a, a dm i'm gonna send you a dm that way you know my you know it's my page hold on wait a minute partner you talking about hopping in the dms and all that Listen, ain't nothing zesty about me, dog. I wouldn't have called and let you know about this nigga, me, man. Yo, man, real G's do real things, man. Yo, hit me up and we gonna chop it up, man. The next time I go live, even if it ain't about Meek Mill, you could call in cause you been in the industry, you been traveling with these people. So your input really do matter, brother, man. And don't be no stranger. We appreciate your call and we gonna holler at you on the next video. Real talk, man. Yo, so Ooh. much love for him. He said he was Meek Mill's manager, y'all. That's what he said. And I don't feel like he got a reason to lie about nothing. But if I could sit up here and say that, Diddy ate some fries off of Meek Mill's thighs and uh, he made him eat the ketchup off his nipples. That sound like some shit Dolomite would have said back in the day. I'm old as hell. All my references is old. And that's the only reason why I keep talking about Diddy. I know who he is. As far as all these new, well, whoever, hot, whatever, I don't know who the fuck they is, man. And I don't care to know. I don't care about none of the new, none of them. I don't care. I know who Diddy is, though. So when he's in the news, Sean Blaze is on the job. You couldn't pay me to talk about Lil Yachty for an hour gonna be the shortest video you, you ever seen in your life you're like hi sean bye sean that shit gonna be two minutes i love when diddy acting up man it is man little yai he, he got relevancy you know what i'm saying he actually sold records he got platinum plaques he's been selling records before the digital era he actually matters Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello, yes. Um, I'm sitting up here right now, and I'm just watching the Diddy uh, situation. I don't know if you're on for that today, or was that is this old or what? No, we on it today, and we need you to cut that down in the background because we having a conversation about Diddy, and we trying to keep it, you know, nice and mellow over here. Okay, well, I'm in Georgia. I'm in Georgia. Uh, my, my little, like, what I gotta say is that this whole shit is crazy, you know? It's everything. And hey, you know? No, it's been like that for years. I don't know if anybody don't know, but whatever. Oh my goodness. That's my intake on it. That's how I feel. So, you live in a busy household? Because it's a lot of stuff going on in there. <laughs> is they rolling <laughs> dice back there? What's going on? <laughs> you know? I'm in the kitchen and actually somebody's running water. So, but yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on your shit. I'll be watching you. 
And so I appreciate you, sister, but that a, that apartment is so tight right now. Why is it so tight in there? <laughs> it's not tight. It's, it's interrupted. Talking, so it's sound travel. You all, can you, get you can't go in the closet or nothing because it's bad. <laughs> I could barely even hear you. Okay, you can hear me now, right? You know what? That's perfect. Whatever you did, you were in the bathroom, sat on the toilet, closed the door. Whatever you did. Wait, it's like Jimmy is done, you know, about the little ride, oh, you know, man. and all that. Now I got you all of myself, man. I, I need to quit being so selfish like that, man. They call it possessive and everything. I got you all to myself right now. And I'm over here chilling. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that was, all that stuff going on in the background, we ain't got to worry about all that. So let's have this conversation, <laughs> man. The question okay. is, was Diddy and Meek Mill the zestiest couple in hip hop? No, it was so many more. There's so many it more? Videos. It was videos like back in the day. like. Like, you remember a guy? No, 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 what video? Oh, that girl is poison. Remember that? <laughs> you remember that? That girl is poison? Belle the bow, all right, in the beginning of the video. It's, it's what, this trend. What was it's that back? What was that? That was a man walking past when he first came on in the video. No, I'm talking about in your background. What somebody busted in and said, poison, <laughs> poison, poison. I'm going to go in the closet. <laughs> well, damn. What type of situation did you in, sister? I was just, I was downstairs. I still got my own shit, so I'm downstairs, but it's a little busy, not that busy. It's just stuff happening. People, you know, I'm watching me. You're not in the shelter or nothing like that, because you ain't got no privacy. You can't do nothing. <laughs> no, no, but listen, wait, wait, back to what I was trying to tell you. I mean, it's been going on. I'm pretty sure everybody know that. I think I think really the real relationship. I don't know. I think him and Biggie had a relationship. I don't know. I feel like that. I'm thinking somebody in the background. As soon as I start talking, somebody gonna walk up and say, "Boom!" <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. I mean, you act like. I mean, it's like you act like we're being live. Like, are we live right now? No, right? Yeah, we live right now. And we having a full conversation about Diddy is you and me, and a whole bunch of viewers. We all enjoying the show, and hopefully from here on out, we can have a smooth conversation. The reason why I said, well, the reason why I asked the question is Meek Mill and Diddy, the zestiest couple in hip hop, is because we got to come to terms with the fact that there's probably a whole bunch of couples in hip hop. Where do we even no, start? Where, I mean, where do we start? How far do we go back? How long has this been going on, man? Mm. I want to say Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones. We talking about as far as hip hop, as far as rap. I mean, I mean, what Tyler Bell to say, well, past, I mean, no, uh, I can't really say that, but I mean, they do change things to change. Like Tyler Bell was on tour with the Temptations. She got raped. Any woman who get raped Come on, on man, tour, we ain't talking about Patty Labelle. I'm just saying, it was like and shout out to Patty Labelle, but we talking about Diddy. Okay, you yeah. going way back to the we ain't even we ain't dealing with the 2024s, and okay, I ain't trying to be rude. Like you saying how long? How long? You asked me a question like, yo, how far it, does it go it, back? Where like, rappers, like, Patty Labelle ain't got no rap album. <laughs> when when her know, where her mixtapes? Well, I ain't I never heard of Patty Labelle mixtape. I wasn't trying to get the subject, but I'm just saying, you know, things happen, like things just happen, period, just all over to all types of artists and singers, rappers, whatever. It's happening. There's more stuff that's happening. There's more stuff going to come out. Yo. I mean, everybody listens to Jaguar right? She's pretty accurate. Like, I don't know why nobody don't listen to her. What you She's think about me. Ice Spice? What you think about her? This new chick. The light-skinned chick. She be wiggling her booty cheeks. I don't think about her. I don't know her. You don't her music, listen to you never listen music. to her music or what you think about her just being out there? Knowing that she exists. Her name Ice Spice and she a booty wiggling whack I mean, rapper. Everybody know the industry. We got Lil' Kim, Sex Cell. You know, being sexy is cool, but it's just how they just they just different now. They more mad. they more like uh, how can I say it? they more aggressive now. They more um to me, it's like more men. They rap like men. You know, they got female saying suck my dick and all this. It's just, it's just like everything changed. I don't know. They got men writing their raps. 
So everybody getting us mistaken. That's one thing. It's not a lot of females that's ghost writers that write raps. That's really like, okay, she go hard. It's and you said that you was a married woman. Rap. That's why they sound like that. You said you was a married woman, right? I never told, we never talked about no, no relationship or nothing. So you ain't got <laughs> nobody. <laughs> that has nothing to do with what we talking about, uh, right? Okay, you know, I just had to ask that question because some, See, you know, a light bulb, listen, a light right? bulb, a light bulb went off and everything, and now I understand what's going on with this whole, you know, the the ditty and the zesty and all that type of stuff. You think all these brothers out here zesty, don't you? Ain't that that's <laughs> yeah. what it is? You think these brothers <laughs> zesty? You know what? No, you know what? I was looking at YouTube, and I'm just going through, and I'm just like, I ain't nothing on that. And then we keep watching everything popping up is this Diddy. Diddy on everything. Like, yeah. you can look up to my Diddy is right there. Like, it's like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this other thing. I'm looking at what you put up there. I'm like, oh, this is new. I never seen that. Then I'm looking at the number. I'm like, yo, I'm going to call. Because what if this is like today? But I'm like, I know it's not today. It's probably a couple of days ago. If I go check it, it's probably the last week's show. No doubt, man. We appreciate you for calling in because everything you said was straight to the point and your conversation <laughs> is everything, sister. We got so much love for you and don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real talk, man. Yo, y'all give her a shout out in the comment section. She was amazing. And don't lie. You know you enjoyed every last second she was on the phone, man. I know I did. How y'all feeling over there? Somebody left $19 in the chat. Yo, shout out to you, man. Who did that? Where they at? Hold on. How do I click on that? Denise Canson said, trying to show you love from Los Angeles. Ain't that amazing, man? She's showing me love all the way from Compton. They doing drive-bys and everything. She still hit the cash app. She meant to send $1. But when she heard them shots, that's when she hit that nine nine. She was panicking because she was trying to call nine one one and messed around and put in one nine nine nine. Yo, shout out to Denise Canson. That ain't nothing but love all the way from Cali, from Compton. Real talk, man. Well, hold on. Where the shit go? OK, there you go. My bad. And all the people leaving. How long we been on here? We've been on here for a minute. Okay, it's some other stuff I want to share with y'all. So just stay tuned. It's about to get real, man. This is the part of the video that everybody came for. God, man. All right, y'all ready? This is the last time I'm going to do this. Reg, go, go ahead and play it, man. Just play it, bro. The, hold on, man. Thug life, man. Thug life. Thug life. That's all I could think about, man. When you hear some some graphics, some hearts, some shit like that, you automatically think of that. Thug life, man. Now it's all starting to make sense. It's a possibility that Pac got turned out by some street niggas, man. A good kid gone bad. Started messing with some thug ass niggas and lost it. Wasn't even about that life. He started running with the thugs. Ain't never been to jail, but somehow, some way, he got all gangster all of a sudden. Like, who was he running with? How did that even happen? Hold on, man. Before he did juice, he was none of that. Y'all know who he was running with? Back in the day, who he was, y'all do, y'all must have forgot. Y'all don't remember, man. Tupac was running with Diddy before Biggie even came along. Biggie met Pac through Diddy. 
because that was his man's. They had a relationship before Biggie had a relationship with either one of them. Did he link them up? Cause Pac was round there hanging, man. Back in the day, when Diddy was going to Hollywood parties, he would go with Pac. Oh my and since Diddy didn't have his own label, him being with Pac, he was riding his coattail, using his star power. He rode this, when Pac was talking about they be swagger jacking, it's all about Versace's, you copy my style. He talking about Diddy copying his style. So whatever zest Diddy possessed, Pac put him onto the game. And that's why Pac felt so betrayed when Diddy got that deal with Clyde Davis and they out there balling and raw, he shot up in the hospital. In his mind, he thinking it was it had something to do with, with Diddy and Big. Why would they want to shoot him up like that? I'm telling y'all, man. It been zesty business since day one. In my personal opinion, man, Suge too. Suge the big, the big booty goon. And you can't be talking crazy about Suge, man, cause he a big time dude, but he had Tupac. He strong armed the booty. And he was punking on Puffy. Big teddy bear, sugar bear. The biggest bully on the playground. And if he bullying on Puffy and he trying to entice people to come to death row, cause you will get better treatment with Big Daddy Sugar. If you don't want the executive producer uh, 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 all in the videos uh, uh, all on the stage like if you want to be with somebody that's going to sit back pay you and let you do your thing you need to be with the route and when Mary J Blige heard that shit she started packing her stuff the same night like I don't want no more drama I gotta be on the plane tomorrow I, yeah, yeah. They had her in there singing ghetto tunes. Like pop, 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 pop goes my nine. They had Mary J. Blige singing ghetto harmonies. She got possessed twice. Oh my goodness. I get with the wickedness. Get with the, get with the, get with, get with the wickedness. I could see them having a ritual. They doing evil rituals at death row. I could see that shit. All of them with their eyes rolled in the back of their head, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, son. What's going on, Ma? We need you to cut all that off in the background with your lovely self. My apologies. It's all real, man. We so glad you called up here. Whatever's on your mind, we want to hear it. Sean, it's just crazy that, you know, the people you look up to, not like you are, like, I don't worship humans. I just like some people you just look up to like, wow, you know, I could be something one day, just a motivation. And then you strong and the way you put certain people in a bracket and then you, you, you listening to stuff like this, this is heartbreaking. I've just started like catching the whole puff daddy going on. But I've been, you know, I've been on your page. It's just, it's sad. What's next? Who's next? You know, what's the motivation? You have to, like, give something so... You have to give yourself just to be somebody. It's, it's sad, you know? Man, they said that. DJ Academic said he think Diddy tried to line him up on some Tupac shit with Saucy Santana. So Diddy out here throwing Saucy out there to the wolves like, yo, go get him. He talking shit. I need you to shut him down, Saucy. 
Like get on your job, little fella. You want work, daddy? That's what you want to do. You want a job, daddy? I need you to go out and act. Line that nigga. Get tell that nigga. I got shooters out there too. You know Kodak Black. They know my man's you now up there in little Haiti. So we got you, saucy. You want to get this money, daddy? Like, yes, I want to get paid. I want to get the money right now. Yeah. But well, that's the whole thing, though. He's always looking for his next, you know, target. And he knows who to go after. You know what I mean? He's a very, he's a predator. He's not like a newcomer. He's been here. <clears throat> he's a godfather to this. You know what I mean? So that's sad. Yeah. You know? When did yeah, so. when did he put that money down on at? <laughs> Saucy was up jumping, dancing, clapping. He just said, eh, "Where the dollars at?" Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't want those type of people. Saucy is open to it. Like she's who, he's who, they who. I don't know what it is, but you know, it's open. He doesn't want that. He wants something that he knows that you're you're like giving yourself up and in such a way that you never thought you would is like you're selling yourself however you're gonna there's always gonna be a record he's gonna bring something to let every if you piss him off you're gonna find out he looks like somebody if you piss him off you will feel the fucking earth i'm sorry the earth you will feel like the earth is eating you up like swallowing you he will let you Hold know on. that we're talking about saucy no i'm talking about puff daddy like he doesn't want saucy type you know, Saucy is like, hey, he's who, she's who, they who. You know, he, Saucy is open. He wants somebody that's not. So he wants people that he can take. He can feel like he's in charge. Come you on, know what man. I mean? They, they play for. They do it for the money, man. Don't get it. Don't get I'm, it fucked. Yo, don't true. get it messed up. It's the money game. <laughs> like Steve Harvey told Monique on his show. It's the money game, Mo. <laughs> Fuck your integrity. They ain't got shit to do with that's so the money game. <laughs> you got families to feed, exactly. Got families to feed. So, shit, I can't be angry. Know. I got a boat, Mo. It's exactly. about the so money. Tell yourself. Tell yourself. Think about the money. There you go. Well, Sean, it was nice talking to you, fam. Hold on, Ma. You can't be sounding all special like that. <laughs> I bet you make the best hamburger helper hands down. <laughs> The flavor no, is in your hands already, Ma. I had to let you Thank know you. that you are greatly Thank appreciated. You. That's why the next time when I go live, you definitely yes, got to call back. <laughs> Real talk. Yes, Thank you. Have a good now, night. You too, beautiful. We're going to holla at you later. Real talk, man. Ooh. Better stop talking to them girls like that. Yeah, you right. Can't be calling women beautiful, baby, blowing kisses and all that in 2024. You better off acting like Meek Mill and Diddy. Keep your ass out of a whole lot of trouble. I think that's why so many zesty brothers out here. Ain't nobody trying to lose their job due to no sexual harassment. They be like, huh? I wasn't even looking at her. Oh my uh, who, child, please? No. I do not like girls. They be making all that money acting zesty, looking at all them big booties like, oh my God. You ever caught a zesty brother drooling? You be like, why the hell is this man drooling? You look across the room, it's a big booty bonita. Oh my goodness. And she just got her hair and her nails did. And Rufus is over there drooling with a pink shirt on with nipple rings. Like, oh my God. They be loving them chicks. They got to be zesty to survive, to survive, to survive, to survive. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, it's either that or they going to haul your ass into an insane asylum. Because these chicks walk around here butt naked. And if you plan on being a pervert, nigga, your ass going to be in jail. Because you're going to lose your motherfucking mind every time you go out in public, man. Because these chicks ain't got no value whatsoever. You got to practice a form of celibacy. Oh Yo ass be out here living like Russell Simmons. Your grown ass just drop down and do a split. Do it for society. Like, yep, no harm this way. I'm a butterfly. Oh <laughs> Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? How you doing? It's Liddy. What's going on, Liddy? You always call up here after you get done rolling up them blunts, man. 
And I'm so I'm glad <laughs> that you called because I'm looking forward to listening. Whatever you got to say, the floor is all yours, beautiful. You you were talking about Puff Diddy Daddy, okay? Puff Diddy and, Daddy. Yes, Puff Diddy Daddy and, and Saucy Santana. Saucy Santana. Mm-hmm. And... I don't even know what you're saying. I, I know you're talking about Puff Diddy Daddy. What, what, what he do with Saucy Santana? It's no telling what he did with Saucy, but whatever he did with a man named Saucy, I'm pretty sure it had a lot of liquor involved. <laughs> whatever he's going to do, what he's already done. And you know, he's teaching his son Justin the same thing he does. That's weird. Yo, mm -hmm. one thing for sure, they got a whole lot of alcohol in their family ever since they was kids. Who oh, knows if them kids did. slipped off and sipped some of that Ciroc when daddy went home. He got that shit in the living room, the dining room. He got kids. Who's to say <laughs> they don't like to put ice on a Ciroc ever since they was like six years old and all that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does he still have Ciroc today? Okay. Shit, I'm pretty sure he still got a lot of liquor in his house. Like, ain't nobody gonna slow him down from getting his drink on. And do they drink as a family? Like, I own this what, shit. This shit from fruits wait, and berries. Y'all better drink this what, shit. Wait, what family he got? I'm talking about all his kids. They walk around there grown. They doing grown shit. They been doing grown. They been exposed to grown shit for a long time. They walk around the house naked, probably. That's an allegation, probably. You got to say that loud when you you can't say they be. Who, hey, man, they no, better I not said, be doing. Why would you even think of something Pro like that? Pro Listen, probably. OK, don't beat me up. It's Puff Diddy Daddy that does, he, that does what he do. OK. Oh and, you know, they do that stuff. What is that? Flipper camp? Yeah. The yeah. same camp Asher, Usher was in. Yeah, dirty uh, devil. A, a year or two. Yeah, yeah dirty um, dog. Dirty dog. No, but what the good part about it is he's just being exposed. I mean, Puffy's been doing this for years. That's what they for say. For years. Yeah. For years. For years. They say he's been doing it for a long, long time. Yeah, him and his boy Clive, and then they kidnapped Tupac, and then after Tupac, they got big. After big, they got everything. After big, they got everything, man. Every Everything. They, look, they got Dylan. You remember Dylan from that group he had? No doubt. Dylan, the Jimmy. Dylan. You know he got Dylan, and then he got he got Meek Mill now. That's his boy. That's his boyfriend. Hold on. Oh, you said Diddy was Meek messing Mill. with Dylan. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I said Meek Mill. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait a Meek minute. Dylan no. was no. messing with Diddy. No. no. Oh, <laughs> the dude from the band. No, Dylan wouldn't even like that. And I, that's why Diddy was that. snapping on him because he was with, <laughs> and Dylan was with Dave Chappelle. Oh my God. They Dylan got a picture of him crazy. squeezing his breast together. Oh my, oh my God, Sean, stop it. Got his hat cocked <laughs> to the side like he Diddy Daddy. <laughs> Diddy Daddy, oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe, so they had a thing. What he got going on with Dave? Should he don't found another sugar daddy in the game? Oh, Dave, mm -mm, Dave! Dave is with the Ming Ming. You see, he with the China, the China girl. That's his woman. Hey man, I was about to say that could be his beard, but I don't want to speak about Dave Chappelle like that. Even though wait, Corey Holcomb's no. been saying some questionable things about that man. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Dave Chappelle. Yeah, they said they throwing stuff out there about him too. Oh, that's oh my god. Yeah, I don't oh. want to dive too deep into that, oh. but you know he going on and on with the trans. He getting all this attention from the LBG, like he want all that smoke. Like bring it, it's me, Dave. Get to know my name. Yeah, I said what I. It's a whole lot of dialogue going on with oh, Dave. This man oh coming at him left and right like, Dave, I would like to speak with you. My name is Bobby, Ooh, but my new Bobby. name is Christina. And I just wanted to talk to you, Dave. Mm. He got access to all, all by him doing them jokes. He got every, um, every whatever. I don't want to be disrespectful coming at him mm -hmm. from all ends of the earth. 
all angles. Wherever it is, that's where they coming at him. That that is true. I mean, the LGBT people, they're strong people. Oh my God. That's like, like me. Chicago. I like plus size chicks. So if I did a comedy show talking about, oh, you big bitch ass. <laughs> they gonna hate they gonna you. come at me like the road on wait. I'm I'm walking down the street, chick gonna pull out, pull over her car, get out the car, extra thick, running away. What you talking about? <laughs> and roll over your ass. Mm -hmm. And don't lick my lips like, oh damn, my hold on, let me explain. Oh my goodness. That's what Dave did, man. He got dudes jumping out the window just to get in his face and show him the Adam's apple. Like, look, bastard. No, my wait, name is Jonathan. Not, no, no, no. No, stop it. Are they trying to make the all the black community zesty people? Man, I think that the pot is boiling over and it's, it's out of control, man. I think it been there, but it was guidelines and shit to keep the shit under control. It ain't nothing to keep it under control no more, man. And, um, you know, it's like they let the cat out the bag on society. Like, yup, guess what? everybody they throwing the zest on everybody man and it's a reality that we have to deal with man there's friendly and then there's friendly which one are you i'm just friendly how friendly does I'm friendly not, get i'm not the oh you talking about the other friendly like um the mr rogers friendly the, the barney friendly you know what's freaking crazy it's what? chicks out there. Even though Lil Nas X zesty to the bone, you got yeah. heterosexual chicks. Even when he do his zest, they still yeah. in this man's <laughs> DMs and his his inboxes. Ain't that strange? It be mm, women yeah. like, oh, it, uh, mm -mm. they still they isn't. still want the zesty Nas X. No, you know why they want the zesty? Because the zest people they they talk what the um the females want to hear. So they want to be his friend. They Man, women act. be coming up pregnant by zesty dudes all the time. Don't say it ain't all never happened because you know it done dead, man. No, it happens a lot. A whole no. lot. They best friend had her little jaw. The dude putting on the act, man. I think them be the main ones clapping all the cheeks. <laughs> they be like, oh my God, I don't know what came oh, over me, honey. Really? I don't know what came over me. Really? They got access Sorry. to all of the chicks, man. I'm just saying. And you the greatest, man. Your phone calls is everything. You call up here sleepy and everything, man. Next time you call, we gonna take a nap <laughs> together. And don't be oh, no stranger, okay. lady. Make sure you I'm call okay. back. No doubt, baby. Take we gonna holler at you later. Okay. Real talk. Goodbye. Take care. Yo, yo. Hello, Ooh. hello. Who this is, man? Ooh. Called in just to play me his own personalized porno, man. This is getting out of hand. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, you know, get ready to close this thing on out because that was weird. I'm trying to see which one was Liddy, because I gotta make sure I have her locked in. Okay, I think this Liddy right here. Yo, Liddy, I'm trying to um, you know, what I'm saying from now on when people call, I want to know who calling. That way, I know how to address people. You know, treat people with the utmost respect because I know who you is. So when you call, you know, especially like we have a good conversation and I know you call in again and we're going to have another good conversation, man. So that's always a plus. Just letting y'all know what's going on around here. And as far as Meek Mill and Diddy go, it seemed like something had to happen because Kanye was mad at them for a long time. Listen to this. I don't got this. no celebrity friends because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public and I didn't have the address of my child, none of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas, all you- Hold on, yeah. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, what's good, man? It's your boy, Beast. 
No doubt, man. Yo, we need you to cut that off in the background. Pretty pleasing. Whatever oh, you got to sure. say, brother, the floor is all yours, man. Man, they the zestiest motherfuckers on this planet right now, man. Shit is bad out here, bro. Shit is bad. You said they the zestiest couple on the planet Earth, like Diddy and Meek Mill is just top tier zesty couple? They the zestiest couple, man. It's a lot of motherfuckers. Man, I don't know what the agenda is out here, but hey, they zesty, bro. That's what the streets is talking about. But I would like to clear the air a little bit, man. All of this stuff that we hearing, it came from some dude named Lil Rod who was living with Diddy for 13 months, acting like he escaped the great tomb of doom. Like he ain't give up no booty. He just a, he Contra. He solid snake. His Metal Gear Solid. He's, he wiggled his way out of the situation and escaped the Diddy without giving up his book. He went undercover video recording and shit, dodging the dildos or what. Nah, he got, he stealthed it out. He, the the best he, secret he, agent he, ever. And he is zesty ass secret agent at that. <laughs> Please believe it. Please believe it. The zestiest secret agent you ever heard of in your life can you really can is he delusional is he out of his fucking mind with this bullshit for 30 million dollars man i don't know what's going on but i'm definitely gonna stay tuned you know what i'm saying we ain't know how to spot right now to find out yo no doubt that's that's yeah. without a doubt and when he saw how zest when he saw how cassie pulled it off i got zest on the brain when he saw how cassie pulled it off that had to blow his mind like what wait she got 30 million dollars off of allegations he started going through his phone like oh shit, i could get paid a light bulb yeah, went he, off and he trying to hit the lottery something, something yeah. he needed that he got, he got a double down the sun he got a double down man No doubt, bro, man. Like I said, the floor is yours, man. We listening to hear what you got to say. They've been listening to me for like two hours, man. We trying to hear what you got to say, bro. Oh, shit. I'm just tuning in, man. It's a late night here. We out here in Minneapolis, you know what I'm saying? Minnesota. So we, you know what I'm saying? We cool. Hold on. 50 Tyson. Look, I knew you sounded familiar and all that, man. You called from Twin City, Minnesota, and they said you've been called, you've been watching for a long time. Don't be shame, man. We got Fitty on the phone, yo. Not that Fitty, but the other Fitty. Real talk, man. No doubt, you really settle, man. Where we, yeah, yo. we, 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 we got them things like Tyson over here, though. No doubt. You know, y'all doing some real uh, stuff yeah. out in Minnesota. Ain't no joke. So, for so. Real talk, man. I'm yo, right where we, yeah. yo, and don't be no stranger. Damn, we hung up before I could. Told y'all that was 50 Tyson. You think he a badass now? I was rooting for this kid. Why they do him like that? People were so damn cruel back in the day. Oh my goodness. He got it popping. <clears throat> he found something that worked for him and made it. Is that Donald Glover? Oh my like, this is America. Like, police be shooting yeah. Niggas be looting yeah. We find out 50 Tyson reinvented his whole career. Got to face a whole makeover and came back as Donald Glover. Oh my goodness. Hold on, man. This Hollywood shit is weird. You got doppelgangers out there in Hollywood. Clones or whatnot. <clears throat> Hold on. Yo, man. If I prove this to be right, Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. Somebody please say it ain't so, man. 
This nigga, who was his surgeon? They did the remix. They don't, he's still fat, but they made him skinny. They gave him boobage. What the fuck? They took this man and turned him into a whole nother man. You could tell by the hairline, man, if that ain't Project Pat, that gotta be Donald Glover, yo. They gave him all of the zest. If it ain't Project Pat, it gotta be Donald. And get this zesty nigga off. The Remember how he shot the gun? Like, oh! The zestiest murder you ever seen in your life. Like, bitch. Like, you ain't think he was gonna do it until he did it. This gave rise to the zesty gangsters. Like, you think these dudes, they will blow your shit in the most zestiest way. Think it's a game, man. Try one of them, them zesties on the bad day, man. You gonna feel it. Going straight turn into the Joker. Ooh. Kill you with a pink gun and pink smoke gonna come out the gun, man. He was dutsy whining in the parking lot with a nappy ass afro disrespecting America. People ain't never seen nothing like that in their life. He put a baby all on his chest with a nappy ass face and now he looked like somebody's grandfather. People started having fantasies about their grandfathers when this came out. They thought this was Tyler Perry doing the opposite of Medea. They had to double check and make sure he wasn't Tyler Perry's son, man. He looked like he stank. You could see the fat hanging out the side of his suit. Who dressed him? He looking like he going to the Star Trek premiere with gray hairs in his beard, man. He let the boobies, he let the boobies sing. A Rick Ross fan. He show up with cleavage showing. He wants y'all to see the taco meat. He be banging on his chest when he with 21 Savage and all that. 21 forever. Ain't that the name of the clothing store? You watch that shit one time. That collar. is going to look like a goddamn headband, yo. Hold on. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, what it do, Sean and Sandy? How you doing this night? Yo, man, we over here tripping. They I got new. You, I... Oh, go ahead, bro. They got new allegations about Meek Mill and Diddy. How you feel about all this, man? Oh man, I tapped out about maybe two, three years ago. I I said this ain't for me or my family, my children. I turned off that stuff. Once they started bragging about murdering uh, places like Chicago and down there in Jacksonville, Florida. Once, once the down south hip hop scene turned into a, uh, you know, you got to catch a body scene. I'm talking about the DJ screw era and all that. Man, I had to, I had to check out, man. You, you can't mess with somebody's spirituality. That, that movement you stunt their growth. You, you know, that pyramid goes up. The pyramid goes up and it closes off at the top. I think as, as, as a human race, we need to flip that pyramid upside down and allow it to alleviate out, outwards, man. Yeah, man, it's a, a sick, twisted situation that we all in. But you figure, hey. you know, oh, go. the ignorance is something <clears throat> that's been introduced to us on all different levels ever since the entertainment business started to take root. Like people would see a movie and believe it like it was the Bible, because for a long time, all people had was books and novels and they take that shit to heart. That's a human historical thing, man. When it comes to art and entertainment, usually people use their culture for art and entertainment. So they always remember their heritage. But Hollywood took it to a whole nother ball game. Freddy Krueger, if that's somebody's culture, they must be demonic. I completely agree. I completely agree. I, uh, you know, I'm at the point, like I said, man, I checked out. And, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you something, Sean. I'm going to tell you guess something as well, because I do this on the weekend. You know, they're playing the game with us, but I'm, I'm going to keep 100 with y'all, man. Y'all need to learn this thing, Bitcoin. Y'all need to learn it. Straight up, every one of y'all. Y'all need to understand what this energy is. Y'all need to understand this energy consumption. 
y'all gotta understand this because this is something different. Once you learn this, it makes Hollywood look like a joke. I'm telling you, there's only gonna be 21 million ever, Sean. So you need to put your stamp and put your family's legacy and understand this thing. Once you learn it, you don't go back. Just like we're talking about all these clowns out here in clown world and all this extra stuff. Once you learn this stuff, man, you can't you you become your own empire, man. I'm trying to tell you. Hold on, wait a minute. You saying you saying Bitcoin is the truth like that? I'm saying it's the truth like that. And the reason why I'm gonna tell you something, Sean, let me flip your brain. I got into Bitcoin back in twenty twenty. I'm not selling nothing to nobody out here either. This is just free information. I'm gonna put y'all on game. Okay? So the energy consumption you back in twenty twenty, man, I went ahead and uh you know, I am out here in uh, North Carolina. And uh, uh, I'm a I'm a uh, uh, injured vet, right? I'm a disabled vet. So I don't really got to do too much. So because of that, I was self-destructing. I was drinking. I was listening to the music. I was doing things that weren't very uh, uh, good for me and my children. My wife, I got four kids. So what I ended up doing, man, I got into the scripture, left the drink alone. Once I did that, I said, God, give me something. I need something to do because you know I'm unemployable. So he introduced me to this thing called Bitcoin. I put I started buying a little bit of 37k, but I didn't know anything about it. And I started getting into chats where people were talking about how the energy consumption is, how you can mine it on your own, how you can run your own node, how you can do all this stuff on a monetized network that the rest of the world can use. So you can, they can hook up like their own power plants. So we talk about like Haiti right now, right? Haiti's in shambles. You know, Salvador was in shambles. They locked up all those people. So right now in Haiti, I'm guaranteeing the next phase for them because of what, you know, what happened with, uh, the, you know, you know what happened with uh, a certain foundation that went down there and, you know, possible children and all that nonsense. Come on, bro. So that sounds so good, only, but I got to pay the rent tonight. I hear what oh, you're please. saying, bro, but I got to pay. Man, look, I got these, I got stuff I got to do right now, man. Bitcoin could do oh, that. Oh, I got what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, man. People be wanting to invest in, like, invest into right no, now. No. Invest into some of these groceries. You know what I'm saying? It's hard out here for a pen. Invest into some gas. What's you going on? Oh. But, Sean, listen, you don't need to buy a whole one. And what's so crazy about it is they have these little ledgers. You can hook it up. It's, if you remember the 12 words on it, you store it just like And what salt. that got to do with Meek Mill, brother? Man, I'm over here running a five-star presentation. And I understand you're trying to reach and teach the people, but these people showed up for Diddy eating french fries off of meek mill's lap and i made the allegation yeah, how, we, how, how much further we gotta go son how much further you, you we know what go? bro i understand the struggle <laughs> is real and all that i understand what's going and people ain't slow people ain't stupid and you can't I undermine you, people's intelligence but i know one thing about my people we survivors and we gonna be all right already that's what i want to hear hey sean thanks for the phone call man god bless you no Stay doubt up. Word, oh, don't, man. Too much, you know, don't too much drink, don't too much uh, let your mind go on eating french fries at a big ass one, man. Real talk, <laughs> man. Yo, I'm gonna eat me a salad right now because after what I seen with Meek Mill and Diddy, I don't want no parts of that, man. And don't be no stranger, neither. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real talk, man. Yo, my brother into that Bitcoin and all that. Damn, I should have asked him, man. Do he got a Benz or no? Oh my Where the Bugatti at? I should have got his Instagram talking all that big boy Bitcoin talk. Where the Lambo at? You ain't got no no Range Rovers. No, what's going on? Where them chains at? You got a Hellcat. You talking all what's what's really going on? Acting like he Warren Buffett. Hit the cash app. The dollar sign show. And I appreciate you, brother. But damn buy a piece of a coin like you get you just get you a small little chunk brother just take your life savings savings they gonna give you a piece of the motherfucking pie man as soon as you invest in the bitcoin that's when he tell you his story like yeah man that 30k i don't know if you're gonna be able to have all of it brother yeah, you know, you invest 30K. That don't mean you gonna keep 30K. I found that out after I invested 10K, my brother. Like, you know, I was gonna invest 30 and you turn, you, you let me do that. Hey man, gotta play the game to win. People be doing bad. They want you to be doing bad. 
They'd be like, real estate is where it's at. Yeah, real estate. Yeah, it's flip houses. Yep, big money, big money. I'm, I'm balling. Look at me. I flipped another house. I'm getting paid. Then you sit down with them and they tell you the real story. Like those houses I bought were gators. I couldn't do shit. They had the state had to come. I had to pay for them to take that house off my hands. The house was cheap, but the taxes, I had no idea that house was back $200,000 in taxes. Oh my the shit, people know how to make the shit sound good. Just like these rappers on Instagram, stunting, flossing they chain, flossing they rings. They doing all of this fancy stuff. They on IG. Look at this man. They be on the gram stunting. They be kissing on their girls and all that. Hold on. Ain't that his daughter? Oh my goodness. Hold on. That's his daughter. Where the hell they at? Why they booed up? Oh my goodness. I ain't no fuck. <clears throat> Why they boo? They booed. Why is, the, is that? Is that a West Coast thing? Because I know that's his daughter and everything, but they look mighty, mighty cozy. He leaned back. She, that's a picture you take with a boyfriend or something. Man. Shit, the wiggity wiggity West Cows. You don't throw your arm up. They on the red carpet. Look how she threw her arms up. She threw her arms up and tooted her back out. And he cuffed. He strong arming. Like Ving Rames and Baby Boy. Y'all see this shit? Why he strong arming like that? She put, she threw her arms up and two. Come on, what the, what is up, man? Am I tripping or no? Maybe I'm taking this too far. Maybe I'm being disrespectful and I need to apologize to this man, yo. Matter of fact, get his kids off the screen. We don't, we don't do that over here. That's corny. Talk about that man, kids. You know, that ain't cool. We ain't doing that. He got a beautiful baby girl. As long as she's safe and doing well and she educated and everything, that's all that really matters. Shout out to him. Hold on, y'all. Spiritual soul in the building, sun gazer soul in the building. Yo, shout out oh, to oh, him. Yeah. Hold on. Get this together. Okay, here you go. Music stuff anymore. I started this because this is my dream. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I could get me and my kids out the hood. It's, it's always been my passion to rap. A while ago, I had signed a contract, and I didn't know nothing about the business or the, or, or, the, or this game out here. And just right now, I'm realizing that I signed my soul. I, I sold my soul to the devil. I signed myself to the devil. I don't even own myself no more. I don't. I sold my soul to the motherfucking devil, and I done pray. I pray and I pray and I pray. <laughs> you know, and it's just like I don't know if God can get me out of this. You know, and. It's just, it's just like to the point where I don't even know, like I can't, I just want to say I'm sorry to my fans. I know y'all love me. I know y'all believe in me, but I. It's all starting to make sense, man. What Meek Mill going through. You make that deal. You might as well be with Diddy. It's, it's game over. You don't already sold yourself. Now I see why Suki Hana out here wilding. Why every time you see her, she got them cheeks spreaded. And she acting like the nastiest slut. Because she knows she under demon possession, man. When she signed that contract. Now her ass stuck, just like the rest of the thoughts. They ain't got no choice but to be hoes and whatever hip hop require in order to keep the attention of an audience, man. 
these the grounds that was laid down for these females before they was even born, man. She fell in the slot so easily. The money is so available if you're willing to sell it. If your self-esteem is really that low and no disrespect to Suki Hana, because I found out she a cancer. So that mean that she my sister, man. But I just don't understand why she going so low. She probably, I don't know, man. They probably disrespected her when she was younger and told her she wasn't beautiful. And now she grown, she, she doing her thing right now, man. But she the freakiest, nastiest, big booty hoochie in the game. And she acting like she ain't got no shame about that. But I'm pretty sure at night when she be alone, she probably be crying her eyes out and praying to God. She found herself in a situation she ain't never gonna be able to get out of, man. When she signed the contract, it probably was on some old wicked shit. She probably went in the studio, got a dead goat and trick daddy playing the drum, sweating like a motherfucker. They, it's candles and shit, the contract. It probably was the most wickedest scene you ever seen in your life. She knew that she was doing something wrong and she still did it, man. Now she's stuck in the industry. She gotta be a thought forever, man. And when they start getting no tattoos like that, that lets you know that somewhere down the line, they've been abused. And the only reason why I'm speaking about Suki Hana is because everything she got going on is very similar to everything that Meek Mill got going on, man. And ain't that amazing? Ain't that a trip that men and women in the game be going through the same thing? You would have thought it was just the women that have to worry about predators, but nope. The young brothers in the game got to go through the same thing. And it's a trip, man. Because they be lurking. Them OGs, they be lurking, man. They looking to see who hot and who's not. They want to ride on your bus. They want to be in your entourage. Come on, man. Will Smith and Trey Songs hanging out. Partying together. Look, Diddy ain't the only one. What if they go after Will Smith after they get done with Diddy, man? What if they just using Diddy as an appetizer so when they get around to this shit, it won't even sound far-fetched? Look at these brothers, man. Jacquees in the news because Trey Song snatched out his braids. 50 Cent, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett. I don't even want to talk about Jada right now. Why he got his arm on his dad's shoulder like that? Look where his daddy at. He got down on his knees and all. What type of shit is this, man? Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, you gonna kiss me, god damn it. On the red carpet like, Dad? Why he so embarrassed like that? Like, you gonna show me some public affection. Like, come on, Dad, not now. Like, what do you mean, not now? I just bought you some new sneakers, boy. I paid for all your shit. You gonna kiss? Come here. Like, come on, Dad, not stop. He looked like he wanted this shit to stop. He want to cry out for help. Like, don't think I won't kiss you in public, boy. Like, please, dad, no. Like, oh, you think it's a game? You think I play by my kids? Bring your mom. Like, we love each other around here. We love each other. Just like homie. The game. With his daughter, man, it was that was kind of wild. Or maybe I was tripping. But this dude right here, man, you got to keep your eye on brothers like this. Because he hit you with that ain't. That's a facade, man. And no disrespect to Trey Songs. 
but you rolling with Big Willie and you look like his son and you know, whatever that's all about, like y'all brothers gonna stick together. Like I want a man in my likeness. Like God made me for you and you God made you for me. All right, if I can have somebody like me, you know, I'll never be upset, man. You no, know, I'm a weird type of guy. So, you know, it'd be best if I had, you know, be with a weird type of guy. He out here with him. Man, we ain't even about to have that zesty conversation. We ain't even about to do all that. Because this video is already pushing the line. I, I must confess, man. I, I got to clear this up. I got to clear this up. And I got to make sure we get a clear understanding of what's going on around here on this channel. All right, y'all see this, man? Let's talk about it. And y'all going to get mad. Some people going to leave, but I got to clear this up. It's been a lot of zest popping off on this channel, man. Said Diddy ate them fries from in between Meek Mill's thighs. And I got him on the thumbnail. The fries, they tasty. Diddy licking his lips, Meek Mill trying to keep it a secret. This video will make you feel suspect, man. The, the, the video is zesty, man. And Diddy Mason can run sex tape going viral. In the same way, hold on, look at that shit. The same way Meek Mill got his fingers up to his mouth like shh. Is the same way Mace got his finger up to his mouth like he trying to keep a secret, man. So this shit ain't far fetched. Jada kissed, kissed Diddy on the lips. So did Jada kiss do it or did Jada Pinkett do it? You got to watch the video to find out. It say this video will make you want to J to the mwah, a man. Make sure y'all watch that. We got Meek Mill with double D's. Diddy Usher and Meek Mill sex tape. So we got the, the Mace Can Wrong mix off. Then you got the one with um, Usher, Diddy. It's all zesty, man. Diddy done smashed up Stevie J and Meek Mill on tape. Nothing but freaky diggy. They zesty tapes, man. What y'all saying about me out there? We got to get an understanding because I will not leave here feeling zesty in no way, shape or form. We're going to clear this shit up tonight. It ain't my fault that zesty stuff is in the news. Not that long ago, Eddie Griffin confirmed that Shannon Sharp is a power bottom. Mike Epps linked up with Shannon Sharp after he called him zesty. It ain't nothing but zesty shit in the news, y'all. Look, Trey Songz got in trouble for beating the shit out of Jacquees. It was over something zesty. Chris Sean Rock ruined her life drinking while she was pregnant. People ain't even care to click the video, man. Megan Thee Stallion got a trick for Nicki Minaj. I thought the females was going to jump all over that. I did this for the ladies. Like when they read that title and see the snake with the. Like, period. I thought the, I thought the sisters was going to hop on that, but it ain't work out like that. So I'm going to keep it pushing. Is it the thumbnail? What's the problem? I need some feedback. I said Nicki Minaj got barbs <laughs> digging up Megan Thee Stallion's dead mother, man. And I got they the barbs. Look, they got the shovels. They digging. Nicki, she she cut. She pulled up to check on the barbs. Like, did you dig the bitch up yet? She get out the truck looking to see if they done digging up the dead mother. Why y'all ain't why they ain't click on that, man? This is blockbuster action TV, man. Chris Sean Rock got blue face tattooed on her face because of this. Why they? That's entertainment. Gucci man can't believe Rick Ross smashed his wife. I said Diddy finally gave Young Miami the boot. Young Miami is telling on Diddy and TD Jakes. 
I had to um yo y'all need to see I had to put these videos on members only because TD Jakes was tripping and he was trying to shut down everybody on YouTube man hold on and this video was too zesty anyways man so we had to shut that down But that's Negro here nor there, man. We about to go ahead and get up out of here. I wanted to tell y'all about these allegations of Diddy and Meek Mill. They got a bromance going on. They say that they lovers and Rick Ross was okay with it. He wanted to share Diddy. Well, he wanted to share Meek Mill with Diddy the same way Cassie was being shared. I don't want to believe none of this stuff, man, but the possibilities are endless. And I got to let y'all know that everything I said is alleged allegations, speculations, ain't none of this stuff meant to be taken seriously. We simply had these conversations for entertainment purposes, man. And I'm going to answer the question myself before I get out of here. Yo, switch that up, man. Is Meek Mill and Diddy the zestiest couple in hip hop? If these allegations are true, I could think of some zestier couples. Cause if if they out there living like that, it it make you wonder. Let me show y'all something real quick, man. Y'all stay tuned. What's this all about? Well, y'all need to let me know what type of relationship was it way back then when he did that movie what was it six degrees of separation and he was still rolling with jazzy jeff and even when he got on the fresh print show he let him make cameos what was that all about that was his man's right that was his man in the whole hundred grand it was tight, had his arm around his shoulder, just like he be doing with Dwayne Martin. Keep a, a broke wrist around that man's neck. So we don't know. And they not the only ones, man. It's a whole lot of suspect duos in hip hop, man. It make you wonder, what was this all about? Homie look like he voguing. Got a high top box looking like something out of a video game. He all up on his back. Now he all up on his back. Kid in play. How close was they? He looking, they looking like they models. They was dancers back in the day. How close were they, man? They frail, they both frail. Why they frail like that? We ain't never seen two a, a more frail rap duo. Now they old. He on Vlad talking about he used to be a gangster. Oh my goodness. He told Vlad that he used to run the block before he got with um. Yo, it's so many of them. So many rap groups that make you scratch your head, man. Hold up. What was the deal with Salt and Pepper, man? Was was they was they feeling each other? Or was they like what was going on? Was they what type of was this a Diddy situation? What what was that all about? Was Spinderella? They weren't even paying her no money. How y'all not gonna pay the DJ? Like she was never on no songs. You see them short haircuts? They invented that shit. Chicks weren't wearing their hair like that before Salt and Pepper. You see a chick with a low cut? Salt and Pepper started that. And whenever you see a chick with a dude like that, you might want to think twice before even speaking to her, brother. Because she might not be into you like that. 
But that's Negro here, no there, man. It's so many groups that you can put the question mark on. And I ain't gonna do that all night. I'm just gonna say, for now, since that's what's out here, man, and Meek, he said he ain't with it. So I'm gonna take Meek Mill word for it before I take anybody else word. I'm gonna take Meek Mill word before I take the word of a blog. So we gonna leave it at that. And as far as um, Diddy is concerned, man, Lil Rod, he won 30 mil. He could be lying. So I'm gonna give Diddy the benefit of the doubt. I ain't trying to throw these brothers under the bus. I'm just trying to let y'all know what's going on in the news, man. And give it to you with my perspective on how I feel about it. That's all I'm trying to do. It's so many rumors out there about these people. You can go on and on for days with speculations or whatnot, man. And for the people out there watching the video, let me show y'all some love real quick, man. Hold on, get the, where they at? There they go. Yo, let me show y'all some love real quick before I get out of here, man. I'm talking about that green vegan, man. Every time I see you in the building, it make me just want to stay longer. I think I'm going to stick around for a little bit. QS in the building as well. I'm giving a shout out to my members and my people that have been watching for a long time. Stacy Galore. And if you leave in the comment, I'm going to show you some love, man. Uh, Lone Wolf, 12, Nisi Q, I see you. Um, who else? Everybody watching, man. I got so much love for y'all. Victoria, I think I saw her. What's going on with the chat? My mommy in the building, Deception Man Eater. What it do, dog? Um, Neil Ortiz, Brandy Cartier, Love Logic. Yo, everybody that's watching and enjoying, I'm I'm sending love your way, man. Who else? We got Stacy Galore. Everybody watching. So much love for all y'all. Okay, let me go ahead and get out of here, man. You witnessed it. It ain't nothing else to really talk about, man. They saying that Diddy ate them French fries off of Meek Mill's thighs. A tasty little snack by the poolside, man. They had a relationship like no other. They was lovers according to these allegations not only was he lovers with meek mill but he also had a thing going on with usher and not only did he have a thing going on with usher he got it all on tape he showed Lil ride the video of stevie j getting buck nasty with another man then he turned around and pulled out the video where meek mill was allegedly getting his butt clapped by diddy and then he topped it off and promised Lil Rod a Grammy, big houses cause. He promised him the life if he would just pull down his stinking underwear, man. Lil Rod looked like he ain't take a bath ever since he started working with Diddy. Big, funky, sweaty. Shit. Diddy gotta be real zesty if he was going all out the window trying to smash Lil Rod. All these bad bitches in the world. He put his life in jeopardy to sleep with some fat man in his 40s. Some big boy that probably couldn't get laid if he wasn't even associated with Diddy. And Diddy fondling over his man cakes. I don't believe it. Cause I ain't got to. You could believe it if that's what you want to believe, man. Shit too zesty for a man to be believing. As a man with my heterosexuality, I'm not gonna believe no allegations about no zest that got something to do with another man. Because if I accept this and believe that's the case, if I believe that Diddy and Meek Mill is really fooling around, I will bring myself into their bedroom with fantasies about some shit that I shouldn't even be thinking about. So to save my sanity and my sexuality, I ain't gonna believe none of it, man. You can't pay me to believe that Meek Mill and Diddy was involved with each other as a man. I refuse to believe it. You could believe what you want to believe. But one thing is real. Lil Rod want every dime. He ain't trying to give up a penny. He want every quarter. Diddy got to pay up. If he don't get the 30 mil, he'll be cool with 10. If they got to bring it down to five, at least he got five mil in his motherfucking pocket, man. He would love to have the 30 mil or more. 
But if Diddy want to talk turkey, since he ate them fries off of Meek Mill thighs, he probably get 20 out of the deal, maybe even 15. If they could do 18 million, he going to be set for the rest of his life. Where he going to go? Where he going to shop? Where he going to live when he get the money? Is he going to move to Australia? Down like snitches over there neither. He going to have to move to Antarctica. Ain't nobody going to respect him wherever he go. He always going to be a snitch. A, a tootie booty foodie booty that expose Usher, Diddy, Meek Mill, Jay-Z. He don't blew up the whole music industry so he could take his little bit of crumbs and move somewhere outside the country because he's scared. I don't want to believe it, man. Y'all can believe what y'all want to believe, but that don't mean I'm going to believe it. Now, I gave you the information. You could do what you want to do with it. But me, I'm going to take it and throw it in the trash because I don't want to believe that about Diddy. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification button. And uh, do me a big, big favor, man. Somebody hit that. I ain't begging. I just want to show love to the people that did hit the cash app. How about that? I ain't begging for nothing. I just want to show some love to the people, man. I'm talking about certified baddie, humble waters, Demetrius Bright, Tina Simpson, Derek Rochelle, Sheen is real, and that green vegan. I see you over there, girl. Humble waters, Tammy, Elaine Brown, Ugana Ombasi. And Adinka Dunson, we got Africa in the building. Jacqueline Hervey and everybody else that hit that cash app. I got so much love for y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video.